Sky Jordan here today with the lovely Shayla Sheree. How you all doing, man? Happy Good Friday. Okay, okay, homeboy. It's Good Friday? Yeah. Oh, that's right, that's Easter's right. On yes, I'm very religious and I knew that. <laughs> Just <laughs> testing. I'm about to have me a little fish. Okay, you all have fish on Good Friday? Fish fries? Fish. Fish like, fries? Do you eat? I don't know. Ne never mind, why are you asking her? My bad. <laughs> okay, she has no idea what's going on. Okay, but in the Bahamas on Good Friday, oh. we eat a lot of fish. Interesting. So that we can Germany match with you. Cause, yeah, because Jesus had fish. Got you. Okay. Makes sense. I don't know how he did his fish, okay? A little salt, hey, you know what I mean? Mm. Peter and Paul, them, you know, a little seasoning. Okay, but it was good. Did they have oh. seasonings back then? Or? No, they just ate everything raw, okay? They were animals. Of course, they had a little seasoning, a little salt and pepper, okay? <laughs> remember Sodom and Gomorrah, they turned the people to salt. You remember the one who looked back? Oh, and then yeah. people used her seasoning. That's how it worked. I know my, I know my biblical history, homeboy. All right? Watch. <laughs> okay, right out the gate. This drink is mango, okay? That's why she's playing with this mango, okay? And if she seems a little upset or a little unusual today, it's because... Are you serious right now? Sky. Okay, never mind. I'm on my period, you guys. It's nothing crazy. She's PMSing. I'm PMSing. Okay. And I PMS really, really bad. So. Exactly. So we had a lot of conflict before the show started. And then I was able to narrow it down. I was like, something's different about you, okay? And she's like, I'm PMSing. How did you know? Sky, you really know me. And I was like, no, you've been... Anyway, never mind. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Hold I on. feel like men PMS too, though, because sometimes on some sometimes you just be in like a, there's like a cloud. Me? Over you. I'm a dark motherfucker. Like a dark okay. Cloud. Complexion like, wise. Okay. Today? But inside, I'm pretty bright. Okay. <laughs> thank you, Omar, for becoming a member. Hey, hey thank you for becoming a member. Okay, let's get right into this before we make this mango this this uh, mango sangria thing. Ooh. The main feed is on YouTube, okay? YouTube is where we want you, okay? All right? But we share out to Facebook, we share out to Twitch, all right? The reason why I don't promote Facebook like that is because Facebook a lot of times deletes the feed. They're not big fans of alcohol. I know YouTube's cool with what we're doing, so that's the place I want you to be. So come over there if you can. Become a member, okay? Make a little donation if you can become a member. You know, every dollar counts because we have to buy alcohol every day, okay? Trust me, the liquor store loves me. When they see me walking in, they know, okay, <laughs> we got him, all right? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, so this, what you looking at, man? Um, what, okay. um, yeah, but you being need, attentive. But you need to eyeball me like that? Okay. Okay? I'll just eyeball you guys. That's right. Keep your Candace Owens eyes forward. So, guys, we, um, let's start off with some ice. Let's get some clear ice in this bad boy, okay? Like today. Okay. Oh, this PMS said she, they, they don't hear right away. It takes a little <laughs> while to process, okay? Hey, Arkansas. Thanks for tuning in. Guys, sometimes, do you wish you had a period? You know what I mean? No. Okay, that's right. Congratulations on your channel. <laughs> yeah. Why would you want that? Exactly. Why do you think God did that? Huh? Or evolution did that? Depending on who's listening, okay? Or Zeno did that. Why do you think Zeno did that? <laughs> I don't know. Zeno, I don't know. why? Where's Zeno anyway? Up or down or straight? I don't know. Zeno is all around us. We're okay, the reason, because oh. women are the reason that the state of the world is... What? As bad as it is? I believe you. Oh because, <laughs> because we gave somebody the per forbidden fruit. Look at There's someone out there right now selling drugs to please a woman. There's someone out there shooting another dude to impress a woman. There's okay? somebody out there thank killing you, somebody right now, stabbing somebody. You got a first super yeah. sticker. For a thing woman. Hey, thank you, thank you, Liz. Thank you. you know? I feel like half of the murders that go on uh, outside of war is women. over a girl. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay? If yeah, this was just right? one giant gay planet, we'd be happy. There, but the population would be zero. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't it? <laughs> we'll come up with a way to give wood, okay? I don't look like Candace Owens. <laughs> I don't know where y'all got that from. <laughs> Hey, are, are you locked in on Facebook? On Facebook? Yeah. Why? Someone over on Facebook giving us issues? Yeah, they're kind of like spamming. Who's the asshole? This is the thing. Facebook spammy as hell, dude. As much money as Facebook it's a lot makes. Of bots, yeah, I feel like. yeah, like Facebook have the most spam out of any fucking yeah, platform. It's so Every time there's always there's always like messages on Facebook. Hey, um, Sky Johns, you know, giving away a gift, okay? And yeah. then I get people message me. Oh, hey, I won. What do I do? I gave you my information, but I haven't received, dude. It's, ah, Facebook. Thank you, Sashi, for gifting a membership. We all know Sky is too cheap to, get, to give gifts to I give gifts to him, boy. 
Name a gift that you've given a fan. Uh, money, prizes, all kinds of shit. Oh, okay. Let's say hello. Hey, you just Manny. Pull up. You have hi, James. Hi, Manny. Hi, Gerard. Hi, Jack. Hi, David. Hi, Sashi LZ. Arkansas. Hey, Arkansas. Hey, Arkansas. Hey, Arkansas. Hey, Arkansas. Hey, everybody. And, hey. and Bow's here Bow. on time. It's amazing. I thought with PMSing, she'd have a higher pitch and it sound better, but it's just as bad as when she isn't PMSing. It's great. All right, guys. <laughs> hey, Kayla. <laughs> Hey, now, you all have to make a decision, okay? I just started a poll on YouTube, and y'all, what y'all want? Y'all want mango rum, or y'all, so y'all want peach rum? Oh, fuck. Okay, hold on. What you mean? Hold on. This is incorrect. <laughs> Either y'all want, you want peach whiskey or mango rum? That was the question. Okay, hold on. Canceling this poll. Peach, canceling the poll. Peach whiskey or mango rum? Yeah. Hey, Onif, how are you doing? We're ending Thanks that poll, okay? Oh, this is rum with mango. Yeah, what do you think? It's called mango rum. What do you think that means? I was looking at the Malibu. <laughs> Which? Mr. Strong, hello. What? Okay, yeah. Which one? I vote Crown Royal. Okay, hold on, hold on. So, peach, I feel like whiskey, peach, peach, or mango rum. Okay, and this guys? is peach mango Celsius. Okay, we're on to something. All right, let's hello, start Hello, Mexico. Right Hi, New York. Okay, guys. Peach whiskey Arkansas. or mango rum? Let's, we, we don't need the we don't need the Malibu one. This is a Malibu. Yeah. This is a Malibu mango. Why are you choosing Ricardo over Malibu? Because huh? it's better. Okay. Yeah. It's 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 and it's, it's gonna be stronger too. So we want peach. You want peach? You want peach whiskey or mango rum? Okay. I vote peach. Why are you voting for peach? I vote Crown Royal because my granddaddy was an alcoholic and he used to always drink Crown Royal and we, the little I just always found the little purple bags all around the house all the time. And it's just kind of like a nostalgic thing, you know? It brings back all the old good memories. Guys, we're gonna use peach whiskey in honor of Shayla's alcoholic grandfather, okay? Just as a tribute to him. I mean, he was in the military, so. That's an excuse. He was also a veteran. Okay, yeah, okay. This is for him. Thank you for your service, sir. You still alive? Thank you, Granddaddy Howard. No, he died a long time ago. Liver? I don't know what it was. Do you have a bunch of kids outside of marriage? Mm-mm, he just had two kids with his wife. Damn. Mm -hmm. Okay. My mom and my auntie. You know how many kids between them two? How many? Six each. Sweet. So there's 12 of us. Okay, all right, homeboy. All right, let's get down to business. Let's get down to business. Okay. <laughs> what a pause button that in that. Val says Shayla casually dumping family <laughs> trauma on us. <laughs> Her family drama is the best. A family drama is the best. Okay, guys, so this is a peach mango sangria, okay? We did a variations of this, but I've never done it like this before. Okay, so let's come in here with a little mango. Don't squeeze the mango. I should keep this tighter, right? Because I want like little thin slices. But I could kind of run through. Wow. So pretty. You know? Like we could get little stuff like this. Or you think it'll be... I think it's cute. Yeah, like, I see. Can we straighten this a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. That's better. My assistant should have fixed that. My bad. I was captivated mm. by the mango slice. You, you wasn't here. Let's start there, okay? You were not here to fix it. <laughs> hey, Halo. Welcome. <laughs> I said you weren't here to fix it. I'm standing right here. No, I meant earlier. Well, should hey, I cut MD. those in half or should I leave those whole like that? Cut them in half. They look crazy. They look kind of big, hey? Yeah. Hey, they Milwaukee like in the house. I mean, this is tipsy bartender, though. We can do crazy shit. Jack said, ain't nothing wrong with being an alcoholic as long as you're functional. Exactly, homeboy. Keep functioning out there, okay? <laughs> Guys, what percentage of this, uh, is this audience do you think are actually alcoholics? I don't think alcoholics necessarily watch us, you know, because, I mean, like, we got too much shit in the drink. Like, if you're looking just to get fucked up, you don't got time to be putting all kinds of <laughs> bullshit in your glass, okay? These are party people. You going straight in there for your damn, you know, steel reserve. Can I have this? I feel like these are more party people than yes, alcoholics. Yes, yes. That's the longest you ever take to ask me for something. Mm. 22, 22 seconds. Okay. <laughs> or should I keep these up like this? They're like, hey, stop playing with the food sky and just make the damn drink. Hold on, homeboy. I, I want it to be sexy. Somebody said it looks like potato slices. Yeah, they kind of do look like potato slices. But that's fine. That's fine. That's good. That's that fine. Okay, good. that's good right there. Okay. Hey, Marie from Chicago. Sheila, grab me a strawberry. Please. Chateau in the house. Strawberry? Yeah, I bought some strawberries. Grab me one of them, please. Hello, Michigan. Just bring the pack. Bring the pack. Dang, it's a big ass pack of strawberries. I know. That's all the, that's all the store had. 
You, you notice how the stores only carry things in bulk now, so you just have to buy them. Yeah, well, I mean, they want you to, they want you to spend more money. Yeah, and they want half the shit to go to waste. Yeah, that's the thing they hope to do. They want you to buy it and for it to go bad quickly, and so you have to come back and replenish, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? What do you like? You like slices or you like chunks like that? Both. What looks better? All right, let's go to slices. All right. Okay. We got a super chat from Lone Wolf. Hey, Mr. Wolf, thank you. Lone Wolf, what's up, home boy? It's Friday, gosh darn it. Okay, so let's get let's get started right away. So okay. You put a pour spout for the for the whiskey that I asked you for six months ago. I asked you if you wanted me to put a pour spout, and you said <coughs> fucking no. You I said you were gonna let the audience vote on what bottle they wanted to use. No, afterwards. You afterwards. gotta stop coming at me crazy. You remember I said, hey, let's make this drink in honor of Shayla's alcohol the grandfather. But you never asked me for a pour spout. Okay. Get it together. Which means I selected the bottle. Pour! Hold on, let's show them the peach whiskey first, okay? Peach whiskey from Crown Royal, ladies and gentlemen. Did okay. it come in the little purple bag? Yeah. Stop! I don't think the bag was purple. A little bit more, a little bit more. Look at the okay. clear ice got, the ice got clear, y'all. Yeah. So, guys, this drink isn't about the whiskey so much. It's more about the wine, okay? That's why I call it a sangria. So, a lot, most sangrias would have a little bit of brandy in it. Okay, the traditional red wine sangria mm. that you grew up seeing would have brandy in it. Mm. So, I'm replacing that brandy with peach whiskey, okay? And then you'll have some red wine or maybe, maybe, or you have um, some white wine. I coming in with a peach wine, okay? We got another super chat really quickly. Hey, super chat. Who that, who that, who that? This Let's show this. isn't just for alcoholic drinks, guy, but also for entertaining banter between the chat, you and Shayla, and uh, Stefan oh, and too. Stephanie. Thank you, David. Thank, Thank you, you, David, the ring. Much appreciated. And that's a doodle hey, like Gilbert. you. I don't know, hi, Kyle. I think, he, I think he got a little crush on you. I remember him trying to cover for you the other day when he called my head bald. <laughs> Did he call you bald? <laughs> you remember who it was? Well, I can't remember who it was. I waited to see him on the street. You see, his feelings. Hurt what feelings? Okay. Just called Sky I ain't sure, sure it is. I'm not sure it's him. That's his weak spot. I know. I'm not sure it's him. There's not my weak spot, okay? Oh, What's boy. your weak spot? Everybody has one. I have no fucking I weak spot. I poke spots. you in the chest really hard. Or I don't know. Them sticky nails? Yes. Them <laughs> sticky, dirty ass nails that you got, okay? Did you change them again? They look longer. No, they're the same. Or are they growing out? They're just growing a Oh, never mind. They don't grow. they fake. Okay, Paul! <laughs> Shut up the beach Such water. Such okay. I know, I know. Stella Rosa, which is like one of my favorites. Guys, my New Year's resolution was to hate less, right? But like most New Year's resolutions, I failed. <laughs> Hi, Sam. Thanks for tuning in. I'm actually hating a lot more now. That is so real. Because <laughs> hey, I failed at my New Year's resolution, too. <laughs> okay, all right, guys. So look at what we did there. We Hello, just Twitch. We just went in here and we added some wine, right? This is pretty so far. Mm. Okay. Looks very nice. So let's come behind this now. We're going crazy. Let's come behind it with some mango white cloth. So this is a peach mango drink. So we have peach whiskey at the bottle. We have peach wine. And now we come in behind with some mango white mango. cloth. Okay? This is one of them giant white cloth today. So who buys these anyway? These tall boy I white cloth. I feel like cloth. they were all the ray for a while and then... Okay. Let's stop for a second. Now we have a choice to make. You like Celsius, right? Oh yeah, do I need some energy today? I mean, oh, but this is a peach mango green tea. Oh, I'm sure it's gonna be good though. So. Okay, this is a peach mango green I tea Celsius. So we can just run with this. Okay? By the way, it was David who was, yeah. It was? Yeah, yeah, oh boy, I know it's you, okay? One of these days I can be walking down the street and I hear someone saying, hey, David, three. And then I can be, oh, that's the motherfucker right there. <laughs> peach Celsius. Jack Let's J. Jump Jack J said, why isn't everyone hitting the like button? 21 out of 307. Okay, Jack J. Please hit that like button. Please hit that it like button. It just turned this so yellow. Yeah, I know. Why does why do Celsius have such strong colors? I don't know. Because they want to pee the effect. Kids. They want a pee effect. I mean, it's a pretty color. It's just so yellow now. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was gonna go in that direction anyway. Okay. Now we have a choice. We could stop there, or we could come behind with a little mango nectar. But I mean, it would make hmm. it a different color yellow and add a they little make it juice. Sweet, right? I mean, it's already can probably be kind of sweet, right? Right. Tell you what. I don't, I don't think it needs the mango nectar. Okay, okay. We're going to hey, go Eddie. with Thanks Princess Shayla. What's up, Eddie? Hey, Eddie. <laughs> Eddie's my boy. Thanks for coming through, dude. Okay, so check this out, guys. Shayla, lemon spoon. 
I mean, I'm messing up the direct decorations inside. If I wanted everything to stay in place, guys. It's so pretty. I would have to use a lot more ice to lock stuff in place, you know what I mean? But remember, ice melts as it sits there. All right, okay. So, Shayla, let's yeah. grab a straw. Hey, way up, dude. Thanks for tuning in. What mm. color? Oops. Like yellowish. This? Is that too yellow? No, or that's orange? Fine. That's fine, that's fine. I mean, this ain't exactly orange, but we'll go with it. It's not orange. Okay, look at that. That's our drink, ladies and gentlemen. Our peach mango. Yes. Yeah. And there you have it. Go ahead, Sheila. Celsius. Oh. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. You do? Mm hmm. Damn. That was a lucky guess. So now you know and how. You can really taste the Celsius in there, too. Now you know how we mix at home. We just grab random shit and put it in a fucking bottle. And there you have it, okay? <laughs> this is how you drink a lot and still have energy, too. This is how you convince people that it's good shit, you know? Like, <laughs> and there you have it! You know, oh my god, look how enthusiastic he was, okay? I Not knowing that I just pulled 90% out of my ass, okay? I think we, we need What's more... up, Sally? Hey, Sally. I hey, think Lota we, Chanka. we, we hey, need Sally. more Celsius based alcoholic like cocktails. I kind of want to create something. Oh, okay. Like Which? a Celsius something, I don't know. You want me summer, to a summer Celsius drink. You want me to drink. figure it out for you, right? A summer Celsius drink, Thanks, yeah. Landon. This is tasty. Can't go wrong with a fish bowl, though. Huh? You can't go wrong with what? A fish bowl. Nine times out of ten, it's gonna taste good. Nine times out of ten, it's gonna you, taste good. Yeah, okay. because with fish bowls, you it's a lot of liquid. You wanna you wanna like the flavor. You know? So guys, we have a little uh, white claw left over. We have a little wine left over. So we need a drink here to finish off stuff. So it doesn't. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> What did you do? I volunteer! No, homeboy, no. I volunteer tribute. <laughs> okay, slide your drink over. Slide your drink over, playboy. Slide your drink over. All right, let's put this on the side. We got some, we got some more cool stuff coming up for you today, okay? Because we have Doritos chicken. Doritos fried chicken. Okay. Interesting. That's coming up. Got it. You saw that on TikTok or you came up with that? Men and their knives. I try not to answer Shayla when she asks me dumb shit, Men right? Men and their knives. Not that you're asking me necessarily dumb shit, but clearly you have no idea, like I say every day, what we do here or what we've done. You're like completely clueless. I said, did you get it from TikTok or did you come up with it? Is that a crazy question no, to ask? No, it's not a Oh, how sky you forgot that I poked fun at Shayla too. And around there was like, hey, don't worry about that, dude. You could totally make fun of Shayla anytime. I don't care. <laughs> Okay. No problem. It's me that I have a problem. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Scroll down for me, homeboy. Let me tell you all what's going on. Okay? Let me tell you what's going on. What is going on? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's 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 go to the Diddy. Oh my gosh, 50. Okay, 50 and Diddy. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Did you see Stevie J threaten to beat him up? Yeah, hold on. <laughs> I, oh my god, why didn't I post that? Ah. <laughs> Smash the like button. This guy was send you an autograph of all of homemade jungle juice, okay? <laughs> Be the Thanks, last, last like you ever do. <laughs> okay, not that one, not that one, not that one, not the one below that. Okay, let's start there. All right. So the other day, <laughs> the other day, word comes out, right, that that um Diddy has these compromising tapes, that Diddy has cameras in every room, that there's tons of footage. And his baby mama. Well, hold on, we get we get okay, to that. Okay, we get okay. to that. That's the second part. Okay. Diddy's Diddy's um Diddy's uh Diddy has a ton of footage. All kinds, you know, like there's a ton of footage of all kinds of stuff out there. And he knows that someone somewhere along the way probably got some shit on the camera. <laughs> probably stole one of Diddy's videotapes, okay? Because if you're having these wild parties and everybody fucked up, <laughs> so your security going to be a little locking. Especially if you're doing wild shit because the security guards behind the people are going, oh my God, okay? And that's how it is. So <laughs> he knows that this footage is out there. So he's offering top dollar mm -hmm. for some of Diddy's footage. Now let me ask you, okay, let, let's, let me, let me. I wish I had footage so bad so me, I could just. What would you do? Collect that check. Okay. I collect that check so damn fast. So, so this is, this is, 50 was watching Fox or someone the other day, right? Okay. And, and this was on the news. Slide those, slide, slide, slide that one down, Stefan, and, and make, make the other one bigger. So this was, you know, this Fox News was just talking about Mr. Combs' hidden cameras in every room in his home. He has recordings of celebrities, artists, 
music label Athlete. executives, yeah, engaging in illegal activity. And these individuals were recorded without their but, knowledge oh, or consent. Shoot. Mr. Co Mr. Combs possesses compromising footage of every person who has attended his freak off parties and his house parties. This is what Rod Jones is saying. This is what your boy is saying. Shayla, Shayla knows this guy. So that's when 50 comes out and said, oh, shake my head. This is going to be good. Would oh you want to bet? Gosh. Would you want to bet? I, I, heard these tapes. I heard Beyonce was has been at his freak out, freak off. Beyonce, Jay Z have been, has been to his parties and stuff. Yeah, like, but okay, hold on. Everyone's partied with him, but that don't mean that they jump in at this particular point. You know what I mean? Because remember the freak now, out, the freak off. Because remember, yeah, but I mean like. Okay. But I heard that that started years and years ago. Like when he, no, he's probably, he first started dating, no, that's when he started the freak off party. He's probably doing this for a long time. Yes. But what I'm saying is, as a celebrity, you go to Diddy's parties. That don't necessarily mean that the whole party is a fucking freak off. Like you might have a party okay. and then later on shit start. Okay. But by that time, most dudes are already okay. bouncing, yeah. you know? Cause a, but years and years and years, like I'm sure he has no, a No, you can hear aromas. You can hear aromas, right? But LA mentality is, let me show my face, right? But I, sh I, but I feel like a lot of people got caught up in that. Man, yeah, probably. But, a lot of people. But LA mentality is like, hey, Shayla, let me come check out your party. Oh, this is great. Okay, I'm out. Fine. You know what I mean? Like you see that shit a lot. I'm <laughs> notorious true. for that. That's true. I ain't even gonna tell you I leave it. Show I up like, for five minutes. Yeah, I show up, I show my face, and I'm fucking gone, okay? I supported you, okay, bye. That's how I roll. That's how I roll. A lot of dudes like that. So don't assume that everyone who's been there has been involved in his wild shit. I have a family member that's on 50s detail. He is for real on this tape. Okay, but see, here's my question for you all now. All right. The number one rule of rapping, right, of the, of the rap world is, okay, don't be a snitch, basically. <laughs> Happy Friday, snitches. <laughs> snitches! <laughs> even, even before I say it, even before I say it. Don't be a snitch. That's why my God is snitching on everybody. Okay, you know, yeah, everybody yeah, into this Yeah, shit. But, but my point is, 50 doing a whole documentary on this. How is that not a violation of the don't snitch He's fucking He's doing a documentary. Rule? Dude, he fucking putting together a documentary. 50 Cent? Surviving Diddy, yes. He's, he's, no way. Are you serious? Dude, he isn't trolling. He's fucking serious. Like, <laughs> there's some beef. There's something Diddy did that really a fucking set him. And he won't fucking His baby words. mama. His baby mama got... Yes. The, oh, okay. That, okay. I think that's what it is. Okay, let's go to that part next. But my problem is he fucking hates Diddy, right? He hates Diddy. So, but, okay, but, but Shayla... You gotta understand. Fifty ain't scared of nobody, by the way. No, I know because he's I mean, a, he's he, a he got shot nine times, so I don't okay. think he's scared of nobody. After Firstly, that okay, all the dudes at the top of rap, Jay Z, Fifty. They not scared of Diddy. Did he? No, but I mean, you have to be cut from a certain cloth. You're not right. gonna be a rap executive unless you fucking yeah. have the street cred and you know and examples of you proving like your legitimacy in that fucking yeah. arena. Like and a you, lot of them are gang affiliated. Yeah, like you go back and you can see Jay-Z slicing up dudes in the fucking club. You can see 50 going at dudes. Like, like 50 makes a call. <laughs> 50 makes a call to his artists. What, oh, God. What, not, not Young Buck. Not um, oh, the one, uh, Tony Yeo or something like that. Okay. Okay, he calls him. Thanks, pal. And Yeo doesn't know that the call's been recorded, right? And he's like, look here, big dog. Look what you need me to do, man. You need me to shoot someone for you? Like, you let me know, right? And this was a real legit fucking call. I surprised 50 even fucking post that, but the way to do it say it, they wasn't like pretending. So you could see like when yeah. you like when you when you fuck with these dudes, like you dealing with some legit dudes from the streets who yeah. mean business. Like there's a lot of rappers on those saying like they hard and shit, but there's some. I mean, I wouldn't mess with Chris Brown because I heard he got shooters. Yeah, I, I mean, think like, all, all of them got if shooters. If you have money, you have shooters, but I'm just saying, like, really like the respect on the streets is, is only a handful of them. But anyway, okay. So 50 has cooperated in this case when, when T.I. got to testify to his cousin. It, it goes on and on. That's what I'm saying. Like, to me, doing something like this is a violation of the rules. Okay. Now, doing before, something like this. before we get to that story, Stephen, go back to the last one. Okay. So, okay. This story, you could, you could, you could slide them up in, into one now. Okay. So, yeah. So, the thing with 50 is, his baby mama, he have two kids, right? Mm-hmm. You have an older son that he they, fight they, with. Yeah, that they don't, they, they, they don't, don't get along. Like They're going at each other hard. Okay? Yeah. They, they will kill each other. <laughs> then he got a younger one, mm -hmm. okay? That's about 11 or 12 or something like that. I don't know. But yeah. uh, a young, uh, maybe even younger than that. Sire or something is the kid's oh, name. Uh -oh. And the baby mama is also named in this Diddy fucking lawsuit. Because apparently the baby mama was one of Diddy's 
sex workers. Sex workers. As, as, according to Lil Rod, is one of Diddy's sex workers. So this 50 cents is baby mama, which is probably the reason why he is so upset over all this crazy shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, but I think it's crazy how Lil Rod has so much information on so many people. Because mm -hmm. he only worked for Diddy for like maybe a year, a year and a half. Like, all I know is... You know, like, I don't... Okay. It's just all these people are being named and brought up. And I'm like, that is so much. That's I, can, I can be honest with you. I wouldn't... If I was him, I don't I mean, I don't know what to say. But I know this. His career over. Who, Diddy? No, Rod. Lil Rod. Diddy too, but Lil Rod as well. Who the fuck can work with him after this? I, th I think he has loyal friends that'll always hire him for a job. For example, he's really close with like Music Soul Child and T-Pain and then like, I feel like he's, he's just their bassist. Like he'll probably always be on the road Dude, a as lot a of, musician. a lot of rappers would I don't know if anybody's gonna hire him that they, he hasn't worked with previously. Like he has a lot of drama around his name, but I do think that his friends that he do have are loyal to him. Maybe, but I know a, a lot of dudes ain't gonna want him in their studio. That's just the way it is. Well, yeah. If you tied up in some but shit. But he'll always be able to tour as a musician. He plays like seven to ten instruments. Yeah. Well, I can tell you this. He'll still get, he's not gonna make nearly as much money though. As okay, but Diddy ain't exactly gonna like death row, even if he go to fucking jail. And I want you to assure you that that motherfucker can still be calling shots from jail. Oh, shit. So this is not the fucking end. Oh, no. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so now jumping back to 50 Cent's what Baby Mama, what right? He ends up like... Well, we can see. 50 Cent's okay. Baby Mama. Yeah. This is the one who tied up in the Diddy lawsuit. Yeah. She's the one, she's accused in, in of being a part of the whole sex trafficking thing with Diddy. Like, not, be, not being one of the traffickers, but being one of the sex workers, okay? And this is probably the reason why Diddy is so pissed at, I mean, 50 is so pissed at Diddy, Diddy, you know? Mm -hmm. But now, she's accusing Diddy, I mean, accusing 50 of, of raping her during their time dating. But they have so much bad blood between them. Yeah. Like, this accusation don't carry the same level of weight because, you know, I mean... They've been at each other's throats for fucking years, you know? Him and his baby mama? Yeah. And then, she, she, a matter of fact, when she accused him, she was like, you know, I moved my son one mile away from you and you only saw him 10 times within two years, you know? He posted something like, you moved closer to me because you wanted to have another baby. Yeah. And then I was too busy, so then you, you went to hang out with that crew. Yeah. Now look at you. He said something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's probably the reason why he pissed that Diddy. But I don't know. I know like... If I was anybody that's ever been to his house and have like been impaired mm -hmm. in any way, shape, or form, I'd be scared. Because I, I just... Yeah, but you got to understand, half the people, apparently a lot of these drinks at the dude's house were spiked and shit like that. Like they were drugging people, right? So, I mean, that's so, a robot. So if I'm Beyonce and somehow a tape gets dropped of like me... Okay. Acting a fool at Diddy's party. Now let's be People very clear. People are not gonna blame me. Let's They're gonna be blame very him. clear. Beyonce is not getting fucking dropped. She's married to fucking Jay Z. Okay, there's well, rules. Well, okay, that's a bad example. There's I'm rules to this. No, else. no, not knowing at that level, but like you, like a regular little party girl, like one of the groupies showing up. Yeah, you're fucking getting drugged. Okay, so you I don't mean, think they were jugging like. Maybe, maybe, maybe to the upcoming new artists like maybe, the, like the yeah. Danny Lays and, and I don't, I'm gonna call no names, but I can show you a lot of people been involved with a lot of shit, and a lot of dudes probably been blacked out and got touched and shit. Like when these tapes come out, because when you wake up, your ass sore, you thinking, man, was I drinking and eating a bunch of fiery tacos? You don't know what happened, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just saying, it's gonna be bad. That's why me, homeboy, okay. I come into your party, I say hi, I don't drink nothing, I don't eat nothing, I get the hell out, okay? <laughs> and that's why I haven't had kids yet, because I ain't trying to get pregnant by no random. Okay. And do you think T.D. Jace is going to get a... Everyone who's involved in this okay. is fucked, because Diddy was so rich, so because Diddy, Diddy have almost a billion dollars, right? Which is why he should have paid Cassie right now. But he's been so rich that his money has made him not careful. I just think the whole situation you, could have been avoided, honestly. Yeah, like, had he paid if him? he would have just had he paid Cassie, had he paid Rod, yeah. even if he would have not paid Cassie, if, if he, he would have paid Rod, all of this that Rod has exposed. No, but Rod did this because of after Cassie. But I'm saying, but if if if, if Cassie he, didn't happen, Rod would do this. I know, but I'm saying if Diddy would have just paid Rod, mm -hmm. 
then this, all of this wouldn't be be out. Even after the Cassie shit. Yeah, like, yeah. Now everybody's brought into it because of... Yeah, like I say, yeah. a lot anyway. of people got now. He didn't have to pay Rob that much money. It wasn't like a crazy amount. Listen, all I know is people. a lot of your favorite celebrities are royally fucked, okay? You remember when him and Ashton Kutcher used to be hanging out all the time? Who? Diddy and Ashton Kutcher. No. When they was like this? No. Then Diddy and Justin Bieber and Justin was a little boy, like 14 years old, Justin hanging out with him, 14 years old, Usher hanging out with him, and they, they living with this dude. Mm -hmm. Dog. That's why your parents who got talented kids, do not let your kids spend the night with any of these motherfuckers, okay? I'm just saying, be careful out there. All right, let's get back to drinking, okay? Because these people tired of the news now. They didn't hear enough for Diddy, you know what yeah. I mean? And some of these people been at Diddy's freak offs and they want to forget that. So let's give them some alcohol to wash away the pain, okay? Question though, did you read the lawsuit? I read some parts of it. I read the whole thing. She has got to start using the word alleged. Yes, allegedly. <laughs> yes, allegedly. Okay? <laughs> allegedly, okay? Don't go, she was there. You got to go, allegedly, she was there. Allegedly, she touched his balls, you know? <laughs> I'm wild. just saying, I'm just saying. Wild stuff. Yes, okay, all right, all right. <laughs> so, Shayla Loki on Diddy's side. <laughs> no, this is bigger than Cassie or Rod. Big wigs are after him. Yeah, either way, I guess. I, I, I but mean, I do think the Rod situation blew everything up way more. It's not that, okay, because a lot of people can be like, oh, well, you know, Hollywood has decided that they won Diddy. That's not the way this works. This is all he's doing. Like, if you look, he's pissed off a lot of people over the years mm -hmm. by not paying certain people, not doing this. How many of his artists have issues with him? So all that can bundle up. And when you get in trouble, all these motherfuckers coming back. Yeah. And they can try to bury you, you know what I mean? Yeah. This seems like the black story where, like, oh, they're picking on this black dude who's successful. This is a little different from that. Because yeah. there's a lot of people, you know what That's I mean? Evolved. Most of whom are black telling you, like, he did this. He yeah. fucking did that. He did this, you know? Then you got Shayla's friend, Stevie you J. Think, you think it still would have been as bad, though, if, if the whole lawsuit with Raw wouldn't have happened and it was just the thing with Cassie? Do you think people would have still... Because Cassie opened the gates. Once you get that sexual assault thing, dude, the gates fucking open. So yes, either so. way, you think... Yeah. He, the, the, the thing is, again, this diddy being cheap, all he had to do was pay her. If you know you got... Listen... If I know Tipsy Bartender is some wild shit, I got all you all in some fucking, you know, all the sex going on here, some wild shit like that. Dude, I don't want you to talk. So if you come to me for money, I got to fucking pay. I can't be like, well, Sheila, I ain't paying you, you know what I mean? Fucking go to the... Fuck that shit. You got to hide this old boy. I can't let, I can't let these tapes off. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, drinking time. Drinking time, okay? Time for a drink. <laughs> Hey CCP, hey Dar, thanks for tuning in. It's How are you guys doing? Though, period. Like, yeah. It, didn't that happen to James Franco career too? Yeah, but I mean, again, see with James Franco, it, James Franco and, and Seth Rogen, they were friends. They, you know, Bessies. Pineapple Express, right? Then they don't, they not, they don't hang anymore. My understanding. They were riding that train for a long time. But, but the thing is. It wasn't like one person. It was like a group of people. And then scene. students. And then he used to teach acting and then make up with the students in scenes. And uh, like all kinds of shit he was accused of, right? Not, not rape, but just being like inappropriate. <laughs> no, but No, but I mean like if a dude's famous, he can use his fucking fame. That's to what it's there for. Not to be a creep, but you can get more good. You can get more goods than the dude who doesn't have that kind of fame. You know what I mean? So all I'm saying is a few girls came out and was like, James Frank was weird they didn't have to accuse him of rape and he was blacklisted like immediately so yeah but i mean that's that's that's, that's how it is okay so shayla let's jump on to this next drink okay well, i try to give you one drink every freaking 30 minutes all right so <laughs> okay you know what i want to try i want to try a turbo corona y'all wonder what the hell is a turbo corona right give me some Magma? mountain dew give me a corona out the fridge please corona Mm hmm Now, guys, this ain't my drink. I ain't exactly sure how this tastes, okay? I'm just here working, homeboy. Take it up with the boss. Take it up with the boss, okay? Find the asshole who put this show together and see him. What the fuck are you looking at me like that? I can't look at... I look at him for two seconds and I... No, but you implying that I'm an asshole with your eyes all open wide looking I'm, at me? I didn't imply anything. That's okay. your assumption. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Black unity, ladies and gentlemen. Black <laughs> unity, okay? It's very fragile. Okay. All right. Uh, should we have a lime? 
So let's get let's get a pine glass. Oh, Sheila. I forgot to get food out. Let's grab let's There's a pine glass right there. Oh, let's let's fill up with some ice, okay? Let's grab some ice. Guys, will this combination work? This is called a turbo corona, okay? So if you like Mountain Dew and you like Corona, what flavor is a Mountain Dew? Lemon lime? I don't even know. What the hell is Mountain Dew? Yellow, flavor yellow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, Mountain Dew, carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, concentrated orange juice, citric acid, natural flavor. What the fuck is a natural flavor? <laughs> <laughs> natural flavor of what? Of what, homeboy, oh okay? <laughs> Natural flavor, sodium benzo benzoate, preserves freshness. What does Mountain Dew taste like to y'all? Does it taste like yellow? You know, okay. sometimes colors have a taste. Like oranges taste like orange. Shaylee, you gotta stop doing drugs before you come in. I feel like yellow tastes like lemon. Okay, let's, gra let's grab a lime, please. Hey, you keep poking me with these sharp nails, okay? I'm gonna sue. Green okay? tastes like watermelon. Green tastes like watermelon, mm -hmm. not a green apple. The color green? Oh yeah, and green but, apple. But like watermelon is red. <laughs> well, red tastes like cherries though. Oh, okay. Here you go. What about strawberries? You know, Sashi, I throw fruits at me. She aiming for my head, okay? She's aiming for my head. Pink is strawberry. Okay. Pink is strawberry? Yeah. Pink is strawberry? Mm-hmm. What else would pink taste like? I can't Grapefruit? wait to meet your kids. Grapefruit? Yeah, it's a little sour. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, watch this one. We're going to start off. <laughs> Somebody said Mountain Dew is acid. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> it tastes like acid. <laughs> Anything mountain related, questionable, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So, we got a little uh, tequila here. Mm -hmm. Pour a little tequila in there. Not a ton, because it ain't really about the tequila so much as, as the beer. A little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Yeah. So, you see, we got a little tequila base in there, right? Now we come behind, look, look, look at the name on this homeboy, Cor Coronita, that's the mini Coronas, okay? Oh, that's cute. That's you cute. never noticed that before? No. Yeah, Anita means small, like when they use that, you know? Oh, my friends call me Shaylita. Yeah, because you, uh, well, I was, yeah. I'm small. It makes stuff small, you know, the eater part, you know? Mi gordita, you know? That means you're fat, but you like a little, <laughs> mi gordita. <laughs> uh, whatever, okay. <laughs> Mi gordita. Do I, sound, do I sound like my Mexican friends? No. Sky! Mi gordita! Cielo! Mi gordita! Okay. No. Fine. Fine. Mm -mm. Do you know any Spanish? Hola. What? <laughs> the fuck is that? What kind of call of the wild bullshit is that? What is that? It's some kind of fucking random, saying, random mating I call? Said, what the hell was that? I said hola and hablo at the same time by accident. Okay, I don't know what the hell that shit was, okay? <laughs> you got a super chat. No. Thanks, Kay. Look at this. I'm loving the all, all black. black. Thank you. Sheila, I'm telling you, if you go all black, you could preserve your wardrobe. People like when I wear colors, though, on here. I mean, they probably like when I wear colors, too, but who got time for that yeah, shit? They ain't never seen you in a color. Who got time for that shit? You see what I'm saying? Look at hey, dude, live your life. Live your life. Okay? Guys, this is I'm about to taste like idiocracy. You remember that movie? What does it taste like? Idiocracy. That's a movie. Uh. Okay, listen. Pour that pour that in there. Go easy. No, 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 no. Go more, 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 more. You're going like halfway. Even more. Like take it up to here. Okay, stop about right there. That's good. That's good. That's good. Guys, the last thing you want to do on the internet, if you're an influencer making something that has Corona bear in it, do not call that shit Corona. Because you can get all kinds of flags for COVID and they got to verify that what you, the information that you said is correct. Do it. So every drink that I had, sometimes you'd have like red Corona, okay, or a turbo Corona. Like, because these are drinks that predate COVID that I did. And go back and fix all that shit because all of them are like, oh, I, you know, because they wonder if you're given disinformation about COVID. Golly. Yeah. No, no, but I mean, imagine. Why didn't they name it something yeah. else? Imagine being the Corona company, though. No, they they had huge problems. Yeah, no, when they I know. Started. They why, had, uh, why didn't they name it something else? Why what? did they have to name it Corona? The coronavirus? Because it's a normal because Corona. Of, cause that's because a type, of the way it looks, I think. Yeah, yeah I think that's a type. That, yeah, that's a that's a oh. type of virus. You see? That's what my cat got. When my cat got really sick and almost died. You what? Know, COVID? Corona. Mm hmm. For cats. You sure it was some kind of frick? You okay? Corona cat. Mm -hmm. Corona cat. Oh, on medication sorry. for months. <laughs> cat AIDS. Okay. 
Come and buy. Let's try to make Mahmoud. Rain up most of the people never say Mahmoud here before. Mahmoud, okay, guys. Mahmoud, and it's do, not do. I know, I know. If you from England or any other country that speaks English properly, it's Mountain Dew, but they call it Dew here. It's America, okay? <laughs> Sky, why the fucking pronunciation? I don't know, homeboy. It's America, okay? Okay, now let's pour that in. How do you um, pronounce the APP Chin Mountains? What? The Appalachian Mountains? <laughs> Is that how you say it? Yeah, Appalachian. Appalachian? Yeah, or Appalachia, yeah. Appalachia. How do you say it? But, but hold on. But, okay, but here's the thing with Stefan. Stefan People, coming from he coming from German. So if he pronounce something like a little off, you can't be like, oh my god, he, I can't. I wasn't speak. gonna judge him. I was just wondering how he said it. No, but I'm just saying, like he speaks he speaks a second language, and English is not his first. You know, English is barely my first. <laughs> I speak Bahamian. <laughs> what does that mean, Sky? I fuck up every word that I say. <laughs> Edgy money. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, guys, we coming in with a little lime. On top, you know, just to cute. make just to make shit cute. Look at that, look at that, huh? And guess what, Skilly? We can come in with a little spoon, give this shit a little stir. Now understand what this is, okay? Before you even taste this, because this girl is a natural born hater. It's tequila. Okay, she came out of her mother's womb, fucking Haiti. No, I didn't. So let me be very clear on this. There's tequila in this, and there's beer. That is a very unique taste. Followed by a little bit of Mountain Dew, or Dew, if you have a brain. Okay? I'm kidding, America, don't hurt me. Okay? Just remember, y'all got guns. Mountain Dew, okay? You ready? What are you doing now? Grabbing a straw. Well, you can't just drink from the glass. It's a bear, and you drop my straws all over the ground. Stop wasting my goddamn straws. My hey, Amir, welcome to our store. So, hold on, all them bit on the ground? Look! Hold on, a four of those you waste? I'll take them home. I'll rinse them out and take them home. You're going to rinse them out and take them home. Paper straws. Guys, she's going to rinse. Paper dries. Have you ever left it in the sun? Excuse me. My paper straws, four of which, because we switched the paper here. We don't kill turtles anymore, homeboy. Four of which she dropped on the floor, okay? She's saying she's going to rinse these off and take them home. Firstly, why can't you just be badass enough to fucking use the straw even though it's been on the floor? You know why? Because you're weak. You don't have it in you, okay? Okay? You all disease free and shit. Sometimes you need a little bit of poison in your life. Okay? Sometimes I just go inside, rub my straws in the dirt, drink from it so I can have that immunity built up. That's what made me. Okay? <laughs> dirt, fire, blood. And machetes. <laughs> Shut up. Just take the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> this hey, is Bernard, like a really welcome. cool color Thanks straw. You, you can't tell if it's green or blue. You know? Yeah, I like that. I like I love how you're using my fancy straws, it's okay? Yeah. Is it green or is it blue, you guys? We will never guys, know. Guys, y'all get the special straws because you guys are special, okay? Every single one Ooh, of you. I do not. I'm not mad at this. You're not mad at it? Mm -mm. Damn, I thought you was going to hate on that. Really? Damn, you need to PMS more often. Guys, she's nicer <laughs> when she's PMSing, okay? I'm not mad at this at all. You think you can PMS all, all month? Mm -mm. No? Please? <laughs> you can't get it the last? I don't think it works like that. Scott. Like if you hold your breath and be like, I want a PMS, I want a PMS, no? You can't like force it? Is that how you got rich? <laughs> Why do you keep calling me fucking rich? Could you, you just sit there and like... I identify riches. as poor, okay? <laughs> I identify as poor, okay? That just made me light <laughs> lightheaded. <laughs> what, the drink? Just me doing this. Straight? <laughs> Take your ass to the gym, okay? Me turning super Take saiyan. Take your ass to the gym, okay? Okay. This is good. I like it. Guys, that's right. Okay? Check that out. Check it out. Huh? Take a little sip. It's cute. So if you, okay, so, okay, each of you is different. Some of you like cocktails, some of you like beer, some of you like wine, okay? Now, obviously, there are beer and wine cocktails, okay? This is one. This is a beer cocktail. So if you like beer and you're a beer person, you could dig this, you know what I mean? Same thing, if you like wine, there's a certain cocktails like a, like a New York sour that uses wine, and you could kind of relate to that a little bit. New okay? York, New York. Go ahead. Can you sing it? I want. To be a part of it. Okay, okay. Let's go down again. Let's go. Actually, hit me with a meme. Hit me with a meme, man. Hit me with a... A lot of people turn to alcohol to solve their problems. Now, if alcohol is not solving your problem, then you got to make your drinks a little stronger. Add an extra shot in there, possibly. Or switch from clear to dark. <laughs> <laughs> switch from clear to dark. <laughs> 
That's the kind of motivation y'all need on this Friday, okay? Because a lot of you prepared to go out tonight and y'all going kind of easy. Sky, take it easy. Oh, oh boy, go hard. Go hard. It's Friday. Okay? Leave your mark. You had a hard week. Your boss is an asshole. You don't like the people you work with. Go hard. <laughs> That's me motivating people. See that? Can you imagine me as a drill instructor? Okay. I'm at the Flamingo tonight if y'all want to stop by. Stop and have trying a to hustle business for your little shitty boss. Give me all your money. <laughs> <laughs> I like you more now than I did when we first started. Is that weird? You could tell that, right? I like you less. Is that weird? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, I just Jeez. tried to be the freaking nice guy. Because that's a backhanded ass compliment. I like you more now. I didn't do it like that. <laughs> I didn't go, I like What am I supposed to do with that? Like, no, okay, I, cool. I, that's not what I did. That's not what I did. Let's replay this. Shayla, go down again, like you bending over, like, I don't know, begging on the streets or some shit. I walked in and I touched you gently, okay, on your little fat back. Don't touch <laughs> me. I have two Emmys. <laughs> 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 She's still on that Emmy shit. <laughs> Guys, you got to go back to yesterday's episode, okay? I walked in and I was like this, Shayla, you know? I don't want to say this, but I like you. But I like you even more now than I did when we first met. Okay. That's what I said. No, you did not. Yeah, you did, did not say it like that. Rewind the tape. It's not what the fuck I said. It's what I meant, okay? <laughs> okay. All right? Now, I oh. meant to be positive, and then she got to go, eh, eh, I'll take it as a compliment. Eh. Thank Which you. Which is why she ain't got no mind right now, I'll okay? I'll take it as a compliment. Thank you. That's why you ain't got no mind, okay? Thank you. Miserable ass. Okay. Okay? Let me put this aside. <laughs> Jesse, oh, yeah, I want you to know what you're ready to Get this stream rated by furries, exactly. Oh, Monday. Okay, What's going okay, on okay, Monday? okay, okay. He's saying he got some furry stuff. Do I need Monday. to dress for the occasion? Yeah, why don't you come in a little bunny rabbit suit? Everybody be wet in there. Oh my God, she's wearing a bunny rabbit suit. <laughs> okay. It's amazing some of the fetishes that you guys have, okay? Some of y'all need Jesus, all right? <laughs> and even Jesus, I'm like, I can't fix that guy. You know what I mean? I gotta, let me sip on this one. I gotta go. All right, Peter, mm -hmm. Peter waiting on me. We're going to a party. Okay, all right, hit me one more. <laughs> Let me give you what you want, let me give you what you need, let me give it to you right, girl. Never gonna come we're home. drinking, and I think it'll backflip stop me because I know I can't. <laughs> if, you're, if we're drinking and I say, watch this, immediately stop yeah. me. Because I'm about to do something stupid. Yeah, dude. Oh my God. <laughs> it's amazing, you know what I mean? Like, dude, Sky, don't jump from there. No, nah, I'm not going to jump from there. I'm not stupid. You have a couple of drinks? Fuck it, I can make it. <laughs> One time when I was working out a lot, I thought that I could carry my friend. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, jump on my back. And I'm running and she jumped on my back. When I say we ate shit, like, like our, we woke up and scraped up uh, bruises on our knees and stuff. Dude, there's so many videos I can't, I can't play just because like people getting hurt, right? No. <laughs> what is they getting hurt? Like not die, but there's guys who like, you know, every, okay, you could, you could see. You already know this. All of you have been at a party where you've seen this. Because usually if there's a pool in the backyard, the house is not that far from the pool, right? So people sometimes go up on the roof and, and then, then jump, jump into, the, into pool. the pool. So many fucking people have missed that jump. <laughs> yeah, dude, to break legs, break arms and shit. So many. Well, how do they miss the jump? Because if you drinking, okay, your okay. calculation. So you can, t you can okay. So the guy does go, anybody jump all the way over the pool? Cause just like launch yourself off as far as you can. Right? No, but but even that's clear because let's say the pool. I mean, a lot of pools kind of gets on the wider side, right? But usually the house will be here. This is the house, and this is the house. Okay, so you have the house here, uh -huh. and then you have the pool over here, and so there's a little distance. Let's say it's like six feet, right? Coming from up high. Maybe more than six feet, but coming from up high, that looks so close. <laughs> you gotta understand. You want a you want a slanted roof. Yeah. The angle just fucks with you. Okay. And dudes miss that all the time or over jump. And you know, they like over jump. All the, like one foot will go in and one foot wouldn't, right? You see what I'm saying? Like, dude, these man, so many people get wrecked jumping into a pool. What's the point? Just don't. Care. I don't know because when you get, when you get drunk, like okay, as a guy, 
when you when like, let me impress this girl. Especially <laughs> as a guy, especially when you're younger, right? The reason your daddy don't do it or your yeah. granddaddy don't do it is because they do fucking old, right? My brother mm -hmm. jumped off of like the fourth story balcony trying to impress a girl and broke both of his feet. This is what I'm talking about. In the eighth grade, he was crying like a baby. He had to crawl. <laughs> This is why women should be illegal, because you all hurt us, okay? <laughs> you all don't just break our hearts, okay? You all, I, I started off the feed telling you that some dude out there on the corner selling drugs right now to impress a girl, okay? He getting shot tonight. There's some dude <laughs> jumping in a pool and gonna miss the fucking jump, break his neck, okay? Because he's impressing a girl, you know? Whenever, listen, whenever hot chicks run, that's when I start going, okay, I gotta get the fuck out of here. Because I know somebody get, about to get hurt, okay? Because you're all dangerous, okay? Give me an ugly girl anytime, homeboy, okay? Because I know, I know I'm safe, okay? Even now, thinking about how my brother broke both of his feet like that, it, it oh, it's, oh, gosh. Yeah, do it. I've seen, hey, I Henry, can really imagine how painful. We went, we went, Alan, oh. when, when, so Alan, Alan lived in, in this baby. apartment, right? Yeah. That had a pool in the middle. Mm -hmm. You know, like, you know, like there's apartments around the pool in LA. Mm -hmm. Very common, like Melrose Place type shit. And the dude didn't miss the jump, but the dude went on the roof. And I mean, this was like six stories and, and made the jump, right? Did, he, did his body hit the water too hard? I mean, no, he, he hit the water hard. He didn't get hurt or anything like that. But I mean, the, the, pool, the pool ain't deep enough for that shit. So he did hit bottom. So I'm sure like he was like shaken, but not like, you know? And Y'all can kill yourself. So just relax. Off. Take it easy. Easy, please. AJ, thanks for watching. Nine times out of ten, she don't want you anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, don't Damn. do dumb shit to impress girls, okay? <laughs> That's why, you know, like, nothing to impress you, you know? Uh, or like, or like some dudes Can we think about, I'm still thinking about my brother's Some dudes want to fight to impress a girl that get knocked out. <laughs> Ugh. And then you're on the ground twitching, okay, while the girl's looking at you. Mm, hey, my kind of man, I like a fighter. So squeamish. Hey, hey. Come on, one more. <laughs> Yo, you want a shot? Yeah. Okay, what do you want? Tequila. Here, you got something. This is Shayla's favorite. What? I was like, Cuervo? I thought we were shooting tequila. It's still tequila. It's not 100% agave, though. Okay. Well, does it get you drunk? Yeah. Did you pay for it? No. Okay, we'll take the shot and shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, <Here. laughs> the minute Here. I saw that meme, I knew I had to bring that up. <laughs> Because that's Shayla right there, okay? Do we let's look look at I'll bring my own fucking bottle. The why why are we using salsa? Okay? Because <laughs> I had a Cuervo a little cheap at the Have store, right? Have you tasted Cuervo? Have you tasted This it? chick is a Cuervo hater. That shit is horrible. It tastes nasty. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Yo, you want a shot? <laughs> no thanks. But one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. This the dude you do not want to date ladies. You do not want to date this dude, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you do not want to date him, okay? Oh. <laughs> That's hilarious though. You do not want to date that guy. She's gonna wake up with a crick in her neck and be like. <laughs> and see, see, here's the thing with a girl like that, right? You know, I'm the nice guy coming along with my little glasses, my little books and stuff like that. Hey, how you doing, Brandy? You know, so nice to see you, you know? I was wondering if we could go out. No, you know what I mean? You're not my kind, you know what I mean? You can't pretend, you're too weak for me. He's too nice, okay? And then she date this asshole who built a little can freaking pyramid on her head, you know what I mean? The thing look like ancient Egypt. Only thing missing is the fucking pharaoh. Look at that shit, okay? <laughs> Girls, pick wisely, okay? Pick wisely. <laughs> Pick wisely. Y'all stay away from these bad boys. Go to Alpha. <laughs> okay, okay. Guys, so check, okay, check, okay, this video is kind of wild. So we've covered this, this YouTuber before. His name is Vitaly. You remember me talking about this guy named Vitaly? Mm -hmm. Vitaly is an old school YouTuber. Mm -hmm. He's been doing pranks on YouTube for a long time. Mm -hmm. Then he moved from, and, and then, you know, later on, People lost interest in pranks. Y'all going to still pranks going on now. No, but I'm talking like he's an original way back, okay? Got you. Early days. 
He pranking the public, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pranking in the public. And he, he's one of the first ones to start doing the gold digger prank where you pull up with a fat Ferrari or some shit and then ask the girl something. But a lot of those pranks were fake anyway. And he's been in a lot of trouble running on the field at the World Cup. You know, like he's sitting on top of a pyramid getting arrested. He's been arrested all over the fucking world. <laughs> so now, I guess, as the algorithm shift, YouTubers have to change what they do. So mm -hmm. he has decided to get into streaming, okay? Mm hmm so he streams on Kick. Mm -hmm. His way of getting people to watch him on Kick, Kick is a streaming platform like Twitch, like YouTube. Like I'm streaming on YouTube, the people who stream on Twitch stream on uh, Kick. What right? is he doing? He's the one that goes around setting up pedophiles. Okay? Oh, yeah. So what he would do is they'd have someone pretend to be a little 12, Underage 13, 14 year old boy or girl and then have a dude try to meet up with them. Mm -hmm. Then when he meets up with the guys... He exposes them. He puts them on camera. Yeah. Like, See, if he was just putting them on camera, you know, I mean, you could go, well, you know, I, I don't know. That's okay. What is he but doing? he takes it another is step further. Is he like abusing them too? Let's watch this video. Okay. Why were you meeting a 15-year-old boy tonight? I was asking someone, go watch go. a game with me together. So he said he would like to Here go. you go. Slide us down, slide us Here down. you go. That's Vitaly Here in the, you go. In the black suit. He will help suit. you. He will help you, sir. <coughs> Just drink this. He will help you. Thank you. Just drink it. <gasps> Do not spit. Is that piss? There you go. Don't spit. Drink it. Chug it. Chug my piss. Tastes good, huh? Don't spit. You will never do this again, right? I'm sure. Do you give it I to me? I don't him. want it. The yeah. oh, fuck, he looks like your fucking bitch? No. You're gonna throw it away? No, no, no. I was asking where to put it. It's hot, huh? You enjoying this? Not bro, 15 year old boy. You're 40, brother. You're 40. Year okay, anyway. So, I don't need to tell y'all what he just had that do a drink, right? Y'all understand the video? So that's what they do. They'd set you up some, like, obviously you saw what they made to do a drink. But some of them, they'll torture a little bit, like push around and, and make them, like, make these dudes do crazy shit, right? And you would understand. Pedophilia, you know, or, you know, going, going after a minor is the worst thing you could get charged with. Murder is not as bad as this in the public eyes. I mean, obviously a murderer on death row, you know, depending on the sentence. My point is, but... No one's coming to kill you because you killed someone else typically. But when in jail, you know, if you go there for pedophilia or going at some, under, at some minor, motherfuckers trying to take you out. So it's like the worst crime that you could be associated with. Mm -hmm. And so he knows that these guys are probably going to just let this go. I hope no one sees the video or some shit like that, right? So they're not likely to call the police and press charges. And so, bang, you have that. And so that's why he gets to do shit like that. You know? That was very disturbing. He should be able to do, yeah, yeah. listen, not, some of Jack Jay is saying he should be able to do citizen's arrest. Okay. But Lord Tichanka was saying Citizen, that. Citizen's arrest is fine, but you torturing these dudes. Lord Tichanka says that he's interfering with investigations probably, you know? Maybe, maybe, but I know this. At some point, there's going to be a dude who's going to freaking, not, you don't even need a lawsuit because that's a form of assault. So my boys can get in trouble for, for going after the minor, but you also can get in trouble for making them do that. You see what I'm saying? Because he's he under duress. Talk? You could see that. They forced him to do that. Okay. And so, the, I mean... I mean, but, they're but not the, physically the, holding him down. Huh? Does he ever show, like, how, how the setup is? Like, how is the setup exactly? We don't even know that. He's just, like, calling this person a pedophile. But, but like, I mean, there's, there's videos leading up to this to show you how they do okay, it. Okay, okay. So, because remember, he's streaming all night. And so... Yeah. He'll, he'll be like, hey, meet me at the supermarket. They'll, they'll set it up, and then they go there, and then they look for the guy. And with streaming, you know, they won't be yeah, there as long. Yeah. So, so he can show you all the backstory. I just put in the okay. main parts yeah, out, yeah, you know okay. what I mean? But um, yeah. I don't know, dude. Like, like I said. If you're ever a pedophile, now is the worst time to be one. Yeah, A, and then B, but like I say, one of these dudes is going to come at him because it's, it's a fucking crime. Yeah. So at some crime. point, the police can yeah. have to act. Yeah. So even though he thinks he's doing the right thing, like is it a crime for a forty-year-old to meet up with an underage person? Yeah, if it's if so it's sex. if he's taking Vitaly down, he's going down with him, you know. Yeah, I, I, I get that, but my point is, you can still. My point is, 
at some point, the police going to have to put all this together and be like, dude, like, he's assaulting people, even though these people might be vile in your opinion. Like, you don't want to do it like that. Like, okay. I, it's just dangerous. Like, at some point, your luck will run he out. He said, Roxanne said he could sue them. Yeah, of course he could sue them. Or at some point, there's and Somebody said it's hard to prove. No, dude, he is, all this shit is on his fucking account. It's nothing to prove. Like, you can, he going play by play showing you what he's doing. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It's just that he knows that it's unlikely to lead anywhere because these dudes do that. Well, like, I look at Jack Jay said he, it's not a thought because he didn't pour it down his throat. Dude just took it and drank no, it. No, but the dude standing in front of him going, drink it, drink it. You could tell that he's being intimidated. Yeah. So what would, what would they have done if he didn't drink it? The thing is, he was scared. He felt threatened. Yeah, but like, what are you going to do if I don't drink it? I don't know, beat, but clearly, you know what I'm saying? They wouldn't okay, but they're implying, they beat him up and then, po- you know. What yeah, but I'm yeah, but 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 if okay, I but, don't think they forced him to drink anything. Because no, 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 no. Okay, they didn't pin him and be like, okay, Here, watch this, drink watch it. this, watch this. If I walk up to you, right, I got you pinned in the corner. Clearly, he can't leave. Drink this, drink this, drink this. Okay, that's. I don't want to. I don't want to. Dude, that's assault, dude. Like you can't. I get. I don't know. I don't know. It's a, it's, it's we a gray see. area. We just see. Anyway. I know this shit's okay, but mark my words, this shit's gonna go bad fucking soon, because. Not every pedophile gonna be like, oh my god, oh my god, I'm scared. One Somebody them, said it's all scripted. Yeah, but see, the thing is, I would agree with you when I first started seeing these videos, right? That it's scripted, but who's coming along to play a pedophile in real life when it ain't clear, dude? Like, you gotta go to work the next day, right? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and they'll be like, wait a minute, wait a minute, Johnny, was that you in the video? Oh no, it was scripted. Who the fuck buying that shit? <laughs> Imagine that man commits suicide after that. that he, listen, this shit's gonna go by. It's gonna go by. Let's just Have wait. Has anybody to see. told him? Does he have advisors that are like. Dude, he don't give a fuck. This is okay. the craziest dude on the internet. Okay. One of them. He's nuts. <laughs> His channel's always been one of the wildest places. Between him and Fousey, too. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's, 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 it's just always wild. Yeah, you, you get the wrong dude, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna go by. All yeah. right, hit me with another one from the top. I got samples up here. Am I crazy? Let me see how much whiskey you have. Is this too much? Shit, that's rookie numbers. So trigger warning for the OCD, this is not gonna be fun for you. (laughs) Also, I'm gonna try to do this in one take so you know that I'm not just moving bottles around. It starts off with samples there, not to mention all of my shelves. Underneath in here, more samples in here. Shit. Here's the floor whiskey. By the way, there's a pathway so I can get through here. Then we have taking up my humidor whiskey in my closet whiskey. And then finally, we have bathroom whiskey. God damn it. <laughs> oh shit, I didn't show you my desk. Here's the desk that I do all the reviews on. As you can see, it, it needs help. Now you may have noticed the other cupboard on the other side. I can't get to it, I can't open it, but that is also full of bottles. So no, sure, you don't have a problem. I may have one though. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of fucking that whiskey. Is, wow. That's a lot. And all the same, you know, all like, the, wh- whis- whiskey I mean, whiskey is a, whiskey's a wide category. Whis- whiskey, did, what is, what is a, what, uh, you want me to ask you questions? <laughs> sure. Go for it, Sky. Okay, just name some of the kinds of whiskey out there. There's scotch. Mm-hmm. There's Tennessee whiskey. Okay. There's Jack Daniels. Well, that's the Tennessee. There's bourbon. There's, There's bourbon. rye. Rye, yeah. There's... Anyway, my point is, whiskey is a broad category. Like, vodka <laughs> is... Bourbon, rye, scotch, and what else? Um, bonded... I, hold on. I mean, there's, okay. all, there's all kinds of shit out there, okay. right? But my point is, whiskey is a broad category. So you have tons of bottles, but they all whiskey? I guess nothing's wrong with that. But I would want more diversity, like vodka, tequila, mm-hmm. gin. You know what I mean? Like I want like. He's a whiskey dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, what, it's, what, it's, what, it's what you is what you like. I think he does whiskey reviews. It's what you like. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, you know, and whis- like I say, whiskey whiskey is a is a fun category. You know. But I feel like every um, brandy is a cognac, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, brandy is a cognac. Cognac and whiskey. I mean, cognac are- is a brandy. Cognac, Cognac, Cognac is a brandy. Brandy is the, not whiskey. Brandy and whiskey are two different things. Yes, Cognac is a brandy. Okay. Brandy, brandies are, brandies are like kind of like, it's kind of like burnt twice. I feel like, um, mm-hmm. but another wide category is like rum. You have like like dark rum, 
spiced rum. And yeah, all dark the rum, flavors. spiced rum, rum clear rum. Yeah, yeah, different flavor. And it's a kilo too. You have reposado, anejo, no, Marco, no, mezcal, yeah. mezcal. Okay, with, with tequila, okay, you have you have your your white tequila. You have your reposado. You have your nail. You have your extra nails, yeah. right? And there's a lot of different brands in there, but I mean that's like that's four. It. Okay. And that if you're throwing throw mezcal, okay, you know? But you have whiskey, a couple there's... But whiskey, dude, whiskey is vast. And then when you get into whiskey, you have Irish whiskeys. You have Scottish whiskeys. And then when you get into Scottish Japanese whiskeys, whiskey. you have yeah, Japanese whiskeys. You have whiskeys from different parts of Scotland, the Highlands and the Lower. Yeah, yeah. There's just yeah, so true. many that's fucking true. categories, yeah. dude. Like Whiskey is a four-year fucking degree, if you really serious about If you that. want to be a sommelier? Like, well, if you, yeah, I mean, yeah, because you need to know what all these different things are mm. and like, all the different, like, you how know, do you, yeah, so oh my it's God. Made, yeah. yeah, it's, 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 it's wild. So would you say, what's, what's the bigger category? Mm. Whiskey's the biggest category. Of all the liquors? Of all the liquor, yeah. Okay. What about, like, whiskey versus beer? I mean, they do different things. There's tons of different bears. You can't There's compare the two? Bears it's are about like types of beer, like IPA versus... Yeah, no, I mean, bears is going to be a very broad category because Ryan will introduce you to some bears you never even heard of, some styles of brewing that's wild. Gotcha. You know? So I wouldn't compare those two, but just looking at liquor, liquor for liquor, tequila, rum, gin. Vodka's like all the same. For yeah, vodka's, vodka's just the label on the fucking bottle, dude. Like, no bullshit. Like, that's the easiest one to make, you know? Easiest one, and there's no time in vodka. You don't have like you know age for twenty years. The yeah, vodka isn't like that. Yeah. Vodka, you, you make the, the shit and, and you pump it out. You know what I mean? Tequilas you take gotta time. Age, yeah. Whiskey definitely takes time because there's shit that's twenty fucking years. You know what I mean? Twenty five years and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Twelve years, fifteen yeah. years. What, what about the thing? Should we try this at some point? Oh yes, yes, ladies and gentlemen. So we bought a juicer. Now I already have a juicer. Okay. The one that you drop the chunks of fruit in and you push it down and squeeze it and shit like that. Problem with that is with you can't do that with oranges because you have to go in and peel orange. It's a lot of work. So I, I figure let's just juice. Let's juice some oranges and then make something with orange juice. Guys, give us an orange juice recipe. Not a mimosa. Screwdriver. <laughs> what, what did that girl say she liked? She liked um how's this working? Oh, hold on. Am I looking at this right, Jenna? What the hell? What's going on here? Florida Cana. Jack, Frank wants to know if you've ever messed around with Florida Cana. Yeah, we have some Florida Cana downstairs. A couple different styles. Okay, this is a Euro Lux. Oh. This is on Amazon. This was bought. I can't remember how much this was. Between $30 and $60. So this consistent with me. Remember, I was telling you all that I won't get into like using like real juices, real juices and stuff like that. Why? Just because? I mean, who knows why? <clears throat> because it tastes better. Yeah, it does taste better. To be extra, just like how you're gonna use your clear ice all the time. Yes, to be a little extra, extra bartender. Today, Sky, today. Homeboy, oh <laughs> homeboy, don't rush me. Don't rush me, okay? Taking 15 years to open up an Amazon package. Don't rush me, homeboy. Don't rush me. Okay? You just, first, what time she showed up, okay? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this girl walk in here late as hell today. I was late as hell, y'all. And then she, hold on, she can walk in late, right? And I'm like, okay, Shayla, what happened? Firstly, I don't even really ask her why, because I know it's going to be some bullshit. What do you think her excuse was? Tell them what your excuse was. Well, I didn't get into detail. Do you want like, all the bloody details? No, I don't want the... it's literally bloody. Okay. She's like... I was having lady problems today, so I was late. I was in a lot of pain this morning. She was like, yeah, Sky, you know, I am, um, my period's on. That's why I was late. What? You've been having a period your whole goddamn life? Yeah, but today was really bad, Sky. It was a really bad day. You want to boil the to keep it you so you do a shot of that just knock on the bed? It was a really bed? bad day. Huh? I started getting ready late because my tummy was really hurting. Mm -hmm. And so... Everclear, I can give you a bottle before you leave. Okay. Hey, oh, Jay, really? Jay wants to know if you ever had kava kava, Sky. Polynesian? Yeah, yeah, I had, I had kava in. I had kava in Hawaii. I, had I love kava kava, Jay. 
I'm not supposed to be some spiritual shit. You know, some people call out no. of work because of their lady problems. Huh? Some people call out of work because of their lady problems. Okay, let me tell you something. Aren't you happy I didn't do that? Okay. You Leave know, you hanging? When we have problems as men, we show the fuck up. But you don't have lady problems. Men, men we have men problems, okay? They're bigger and heavier. Men have never had a period, so... Okay. Oh, yeah, we gotta probably wash this. I just washed it. What did you do? You rinsed it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. You wanna wash it more? Isn't this where all the juice gets in? Shale is so hygienic. Go ahead, please. Clean you it. You have to wash your appliances before you use okay, them. Okay, just clean it. Hurry up. Okay, I'm just gonna rinse it really quick. Still dirty. Do you have any soap? No? I guess it doesn't need it. It's fine. There you go. Thank you. You sure? You good? Are you good? Yes. I ain't even sure we're doing this right. Okay, well, let's see. Oh shit, there we go. Guys, I ain't even reading the instructions. We just going for it, okay? Thank you, Frank. I appreciate you understanding. The understanding struggle. what? He said, feel Feels better. Either way. You know, damn, Frank, Frank, how, Frank, how can people be nice all of a sudden? Frank loves me, okay? Me and Frank are practically dating at this point. He's just trying to smash. <laughs> Sashi, thanks for the super chairs. Thank you, Sashi. A screwdriver sunrise. Orange juice grenadine. Well, we can make a tequila sunrise. Or this would be a real tequila sunrise, too. Oh, damn. Okay. Let's get something to put this in. Let's get a measuring cup. Shots in bed are a good way to wake up. <laughs> we doing, homeboy? I was just reading the comments. Okay, now go ahead. Oh, snap. I love it. And you know it's done when the juice stops going out, right? This is good. And this is all this juice is from one half of an orange. Guys, so this is a... What's annoying though is you have to keep pushing it down the whole time. Yeah. So this is a Euro Lux, okay? Okay, that's, that's good. On Amazon. Damn. Look wow. At this. Look at that. Look at that. This, this killed that orange. Did they sponsor you or something? They look like they, they ain't nobody sponsoring us own boy. I want to do it. We're unsponsored. <laughs> the thing with a live show, right? All you, all you influencers out there, the issue with a live show and sponsorships is this. If a company sponsors me, I would make a video, let's say I make a typical YouTube video of a drink that's you know recorded and all that sort of stuff, and you could send it to the company, they look at it, and then they can decide, hey, what are you doing, man? They look at it and they decide, hold on, move, move the stuff out of here. You, you got to clean this in between because there's a lot of shit in here. Are you sure? Yeah. They look at it and then they decide, okay, hit, you know, um, we like it. Change this, change that. With live, there's no checks. And that shit makes companies nervous, especially in today's cancel culture. So they don't want to get behind and all of a sudden have shit go sideways. They do sponsor people, but I'm, I'm just saying it's just a little bit more... It's a little hotter. Put it back in. Somebody said this looks satisfying. It kind of is. Not going to lie. It kind of is. I like this, though. Why is it so damn big is my question. What, this? Yeah. Because you got to be able to do a ton, of, a ton of oranges. Go ahead. I'm talking about, like... Go ahead. Uh, okay. Okay, so we agreed on this. We agreed on like a tequila sunrise. Is that what we're doing? That's what you said. Somebody said they wanted a screwdriver. There's a fuzzy navel as well, which is vodka, peach snaps, orange juice. That's like the beginning of a sex on the beach without the cranberry. Oh, yeah, that one was. Uh huh, keep going. We have a suggestion from David. Scott, find this online. It's a dream cream, six ounces of orange juice, two ounces of triple sack, two ounces of vanilla vodka, half and half. Shayla don't like cream though, but that, that is kind of a dream sickle-ish. I'll try it. I like okay. white, white, um, I like white Russians just fine. Okay. Do, do we have half of them? We, we have some kind of milk in there. Keep going with that, Shayla. Let me, let me just check. I might not have half and half though. Oh yeah, we got some half and half homeboy. Can't you 
Michael says, make sure that uh, Goombe smash. Goombe smash. <laughs> what is that? He's from the Bahamas, right? So I know him. That's my boy, Michael Mirage, hey, right? Hey, Michael. Every time I see him, he got a Cuban cigar and drinking some expensive rum. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my boy, my boy goes hard. But what's the Bombay smash? Bombay smash. I don't know the exact recipe for Bombay smash now. <laughs> Do you want to clean this top part out? Okay. Yeah. The only thing I feel like you have to clean this top part a lot just because. All the guts. Yeah. Okay. There's okay. Juice still coming out. Okay. Do it. You can imagine if you wanted a pitcher of oranges, you need like 295 oranges. <laughs> okay? You need 295 oranges? Oh shit, grab them. All the time to individually. Grab the thing out there. Put your hand in and just take the fucking My, my hand? Are you scared? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What are you scared of? Hey, hey Sheila? Sheila? Who the hell is Sheila? <laughs> You like your name? Shayla? Shayla? Mm -hmm. Yes, I like my name. My mom gave it to me. Why wouldn't I like my name? Look, there's some dude on their name, freaking Ferdinand or some... Ferdinand? Or Archibald or some shit. Whatever name I... I even if I was given a really ghetto name, I'd still pull it off. Beautifully. What, like Shaniqua? Yeah, I'd be the cutest Shaniqua that ever existed. Is, she, is Shaniqua a ghetto, get, ghetto name? Shaniqua? Mm -hmm. There can be, there's a lot worse than Shaniqua. <laughs> okay, what's, what's a ghetto name? I mean, I would say that, like, if... If you no, no, meet no, no, someone no, no, no. named Shanika nine times out of ten. What's what's a ghetto name? A ghetto name? It's worse. Yeah. I knew this girl, um, Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Turn, 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 turn. Hold on. You're good at this, man. <laughs> I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck is going on? <laughs> Too many moving parts. You know a girl named what? Like Laquanda. I knew like a Laquanda. A Laquanda? What else? I had a guy friend in high school, his name was Amoriant. That's not bad, bad. Amoriants. Amoriants? But it was spelled A W M O R R E U N C E. So it was like the spelling that was really good. God, I want you all to know, you know, these black names, you think black people could spell them? Absolutely fucking not, okay? Amoriants. <laughs> oh, oh, Sheila. <laughs> Big C buggy said. Oh, Sheila. Okay, so what, what, what's, 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 hold on. I, let's, let's do this last one. Ah, that's enough orange juice, I think. Oh, Sheila. What's, what's, um, Tamika? To me, to me, can't eat that, not that bad. bad. I'm trying to think of like the worst name that I ever heard, like that I like knew Dude. It was somebody's name. Dude, so. Calvinisha's terrible. Calvinisha. Dude, so okay, I read an article one day, one day about this. There's there's a white woman, right, and she have a really black name. Tasha Kana? No, man, her name was like a Shaniqua Laquanda or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. Don't ask me why a fucking parents name for that. Oh, white girl? Yeah. And she, hold on, she, and she isn't like necessarily like young. She like in her mid-30s or something like that, right? And she's like, dude, like every place she go, when, when she, she walk in, they always like. They don't believe her name. They're they like, she's black. Yeah. <laughs> they don't believe her name. Yeah. Laquisha. So look, listen, I have a friend from high school and um, she's half white, half black, right? Uh-huh. But her dad is German. Uh-huh. So her last name is Grafwalner. What? Grafwalner is her last name. Uh huh. Very German last name. Guess okay. what her first name is? What? Princess. Princess. <laughs> Princess what? <laughs> Princess Grafwalner? Yes. <laughs> when they go to Germany, there's probably a lot of fun. <laughs> Princess Grafwalner? Princess. Yes. <laughs> That's pretty good. Caldonja is crazy. Caldonja is actually crazy. <laughs> Dude, but the, but the white woman was... She had like a girl named Placenta. I saw this Damn. like, th I saw this thread <laughs> online that was like, what would be a beautiful name if Hold, it didn't... Unplug it for me, please. Like what Andre. would be a pretty name if it didn't have the meaning that it did have? Mm. And people were saying like, dang, like, um, they weren't saying gonorrhea, but they were saying... Gonorrhea. This his name is Dequina Dequinata. Dequinata. Dequinata? Duquanda? Is it Duquanda? Dequandinata? Oh, is this, how do you pronounce this guy? Daquan, da, Daquanada. 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 Ain't nobody can pronounce that, you know what I mean? And they have some white teacher who could be in there trying to pronounce that shit, right? And then the student would be like, excuse me, if you could say my name, pronounce it right. 
<laughs> okay, and then the teacher would come back, well, your parents need to name you something different because ain't nobody knowing to pronounce this shit. <laughs> my mom did a really good job with her name. Really? Mm -hmm. What made you think that? Shayla Sheree? Because my name is Shayla. It's cute, you know? Okay, if you say so. Why the fuck this don't come out? We have a Howard. That can go either way. Let's just not come out. Howard? Is Howard more black or white? No, Howard. Howard's Howard, whatever. Howard's black, right? Howard? No, it could be, it could be whatever. There's a Howard, a Shayla, a Fela, mm -hmm. a Leah. This is how it's pronounced. De, De, De Aquanita. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Damn. De Aquanita, okay? That's, that's but good. Some of your parents need to be arrested. That's all I'm saying, okay? We need, more. Aqua, Nita. we need more of you all in jail for this dumb shit. <laughs> what if my name is Diaquanita? Huh? Would you call me by my full name? Diaquanita? Absolutely. Diaquanita. I make fun of that shit all day. <laughs> Diaquanita. You remember when these two girls had a fight, right? I remember this. One was Sharkisha. Do you remember that? Sharkisha. Sh remember that Sharkisha? Hold on. Shark. Sharkisha. Sharkisha <laughs> on the end. <laughs> yeah. And she was fighting La Quandea, okay? And Sharkisha, you know, because I remember this was one of them YouTube fights <laughs> when, when the girl, Sharkisha walk up, right? And all the girls are, Sharkisha, get the bitch! <laughs> Sharkisha, you know them fucking bit fight videos? She's like, Sharkisha, get that bitch! And you know, and La, La or whatever her name was, was there in her glasses. And La Kish, and Sharkisha hit her, you know what I mean? Who won? I mean, Sharkisha won because the other girl wasn't fighting back. But, but the internet was like... We need to arrest both these fucking parents. Forget the fight, okay? Like, who named them this shit, okay? Were they in the hood? Yeah, this, 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 this sounds like a perfume now. <laughs> <laughs> Look at, hey, listen to me. Guys, if you're curious, think I made bullshitting. Google Sharkisha fight, and that shit's gonna come up, and listen to the names in there, okay? And then go look at the comments. <laughs> Yo, streets. Hey, what's Shay. up, what's up, what's up, what's up, homeboy? <laughs> Go look at the comments on that shit, you know? I feel like at, there, was, there was at one point where all the parents were naming their sons like, duh something. Mm -hmm. Like, duh Marcus, or like, duh whatever. Like, there was always a D-A apostrophe. <laughs> Do it. Deshaun. Do it. Duh Marcus. There's a, there's a football player in college right now, or maybe just graduated. His name is the coldest. Okay? <laughs> no, you're kidding. The coldest, you know? <laughs> I mean, apparently his parents were on to you something. You know what I do is, you know what I do is walk up, boy, that's the coldest Negro I ever seen, okay? His name is the coldest. They probably did it on purpose. I'm not making this shit up, okay? <laughs> they did it on purpose. <laughs> that's so fucking So he could be the coldest the way oh he do. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me find him, man, so y'all can see this, okay? The coldest, okay? Hey, Shayla, can I look at your mic? <laughs> oh, he might just be, okay. Check him out. Ladies and gentlemen. Jeff Stephan, go close. The coldest Crawford. <laughs> Let me see. That's so good. The coldest Crawford. Okay? <laughs> These two, as I tell you, I'm making this shit up, homeboy. You go ahead. I'm not making this shit up, okay? This he's, is he's gonna be the best in the league. Too. Okay, hold on. Then let me we got a super chat from Cody. We What's up, Cody? Though? We doing food too? Yeah, we're gonna cook something right now. Hey, Cody. Okay. Right after this drink, we're gonna cook something. Okay. White girl, black name. Some parents are full of shit. <laughs> Elle said, and Shayla is a corn husk. What oh, see, this is the story. We got another mm. super chat. Okay, Stefan, come close again. This is the girl I was telling you about. Felicia and Keisha what are not bad, though. What it's like to be a white woman named Lakeisha. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Both of her parents were white? Hold on. No, she, yeah, there's a, yeah, there's a white blonde Thanks chick. Thanks for the super chat. Both of her parents Southern. are white, dad and mom. Okay, listen to this. When you're a white, blonde-haired, blue-eyed woman named Lakeisha, life can get complicated. <laughs> <laughs> Strangers burst out laughing when you tell them your name. Puzzle white people ask, what are your parents? <laughs> what were your parents thinking? Black people wonder if you're trying to get, if you're trying to play a bad joke. <laughs> Lakeisha. Maybe. <laughs> to all the new people in the chat, welcome to the Ratchet Coffee Show. Okay, okay, okay. I have a theory. <laughs> us, hold on, two hours of Sky Jordan and Shayla Sheree, home to alcoholic drinks. And Thank, you, Ratchet Thank you, David. Thank you, David. I have a theory. What? Remember Meet the Fockers? Uh huh. When Gaylord, um, Gaylord Falker, Gaylord uh -huh. Falker, uh, gay, like he like gave birth or something or helped somebody give birth, and they were like, "We're gonna name our kid after you." <laughs> <laughs> and then he was like, "My name is Gaylord." 
<laughs> what if Lakeisha's parents, like there was like a, there was like a Lakeisha that saved their life, both of their lives or something, uh-huh. and they're like, okay, we <laughs> have to name our kid after you now. Listen to me. <laughs> If the coldest my saved my entire fucking family or planet Earth, I still wouldn't name my son the fucking coldest. Okay? Sure? I'm 100% sure. Matter of <laughs> fact, if I have to name my son the coldest, you know, like I'm hanging off the cliff and he's holding my arm and he's like, Sky, I'm saving your life, but you got to name your son after me. I'm going to be like, fuck it, I'm going to let go. You know, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? That's wild. I'm not subjecting my child to that bullshit. <laughs> okay, pull up, David's, pull up David's recipe again, please. Just Google his name, David, David, uh, is David the ring, right? Yeah, there he is. Okay, so it was his recipe, right? Put the back on screen for a second. Was it his recipe? I think it was his recipe. David, that was your recipe, right? Oh, yeah, here. Okay, yeah. So I just need what it is again. So he's going orange juice. Tri- let's get triple sack vanilla vodka. Half and half. Triple sack. Were any vanilla in there? It's probably some, yeah. And then we got another super chat from our pastry chef. What's up? What's up, you bell? How's the cooking going? How's the cooking going, homeboy? Thank That's you. That's vanilla vodka, Shayla. Now I can't reach this. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, she finally got it, okay? There was a shit show over there just now, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> okay. So we have vanilla vodka. This one empty. I know, so I got home. Only a little bit left in here. Who saved this empty bottle? You? I don't know. I didn't use it. You want a little sip of vanilla vodka? Uh uh-uh, uh. No, thank Take you. Take the edge off. I'm good. What you got against vanilla vodka? E. E? E. 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 What? What the hell does that mean? E. 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 <laughs> Jay says, for to the name, well, it's better than the warmest. The <laughs> warmest. <laughs> the coldest. The coldest. <laughs> Whenever I have a kid, I want to have a son first, and I want to name my son after his father. So I'm hoping that, because I want a junior. I feel like it'd be cool to start that. No, don't do junior. I'm, I'm doing a junior. Don't do junior. Why do you care? You're not going to be the baby daddy. Suppose, okay, I'm Bill Cosby Jr. I, Bill Cosby ain't going to be the baby daddy either. You're not missing the point. Okay. I'm not going to marry a Bill Cosby type. You don't know that. Yes, I will. I'm just saying, okay. I'm a great judge of character. Why do you think I'm single now? Because you can't get a man. I'm a great judge of character. Really? Yeah. That's why you're single? Mm-hmm. Or dudes are great judges of character and all that. Like, nah, I'm good. Thank you. I, I okay, look here. Let's get some mics, please. Let's clear, the, let's clear this up. Ladies and gentlemen, Shayla likes to stand here and sing, and I can do it too. Huh? Baby, hit me with a little meme, Stefan. Let's warm the crowd up, okay? Let's get you all warm, okay? You're all too cold. <laughs> hey, you all drinkers has come up with the dumbest shit, you know. This is so dumb. <laughs> okay, one more, one more. Dumb ass shit. Let's put some ice in here. Guys, I feel like I just haven't really been into drinking lately. Like, I just, it's not that fun anymore. I don't know. I totally feel you. Like, this is my second one. I'm gonna have, like, two more called a night. I legit only drink, like, Aperol Spritz. It's like, I don't even drink hard liquor anymore. No, like, I literally, like, hate the taste of alcohol. Like, it's a- actually disgusting. No, it's so vile. Should we do a shot? <laughs> <laughs> Me? <laughs> Me? <laughs> <You're> not- <laughs> <laughs> one more, one more, one more. Why you chill and come back? Some of these are funny. Guys, I feel like I just. Sorry. No, no, sorry. She claims that that's that's a that's a way to aerate the wine to make it. Why do you aerate wine anyway? Okay. Just like that girl rolling the bottle? Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Mm-hmm. Why do we aerate wine? Aerating wine exposes the drink to air, which relaxes the wine, making it smoother and better integrated in aroma, texture, and flavor. The purpose of aerating wine is to expose a glass of wine to oxygen and enhance its taste and aroma. So that's the same concept as um, putting the yeah the thing. What? 
the thing that you stick in and you do like this and then it, shush, and it fizzles up the drink? Yeah, I mean, know? well, most most people when they aerate, they just pour it into like a bigger container, right? And then you let it like air. And, yeah, just let, let it sit. It. They sit there yeah, for a while, I right? I think so, yeah. yeah. Thanks, Rose. Well, thank you, thank Rose. You, Rose. Welcome. Welcome to the party, homeboy. Okay, but here's the thing. I don't think you need to put it in a fucking blender like that woman just did. That's blend the much. shit up, okay? Especially if your wine's two dollars a freaking bottle, okay? Don't waste your time. It's gonna taste like shit regardless of what you do. <laughs> just hold your nose, close your eyes, and swallow, homeboy, okay? You'll feel better on the other side. Amen. That's Pope Tipsy. The Tipsy Pope. Drink, my child. Get your ass out of here. Okay. One more. One more. One more. One more. One more. Oh. Now, I'm going to assume that I have alcohol in there somewhere, but yeah. I didn't see it put it in. All I see is her drinking zero sugar cranberry juice, okay? Which is a goddamn waste of time, all right? That's a pretty innovative idea. A bottle that size? How much was that glass, I, I wonder? Dude, that glass fucking huge. Like, you can't handle that, okay? You can't handle that glass. The glass is, it's too big. It's a party glass. It's too big, okay? The glass is too big. Oh, someone Jack just said, I aerate my wine by drinking straight out of That's what I'm talking about, homeboy. That's, get the job done. You see, man, man, we, like, we're always ready, okay? We're action-packed, okay? Mm -hmm. We're ready to take decisive action. Sky, let's aerate the wine. The Shayla. Sky, can we aerate the wine? Okay, fuck that. Let's just drink it. You see what I'm saying? It's not a judgment of you. I don't, I don't even really drink wine like that. Give okay. me a headache. Ladies and gentlemen, let us make this drink. So we're coming in. This is a this is a a dream sickle or cream sickle, okay? By the way, just uh, David said that he found us online. He just wanted us to know. Yeah, the rest of it is okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. No sweat, no sweat, no sweat. I've done I've done um cream sickles before, so I mean this fine. Sheila, hit that with a little bit of vodka. We eyeball it now, okay? Vanilla vodka, okay? Get it all over the ice so we clear that ice up so they can see the sexiness of the ice. Get them in. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Now let's come behind with a little bit of this, okay? Get them in ice cube. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, beautiful. That's good. That's good. Now, homeboy, this fresh squeezed, okay? This fresh. This, these oranges are still crying for the mama, okay? We come in here with a little orange juice. It's got a lot of liquor in it in a small glass, though, Shelly. You aware of that, right? Mm-hmm. All right, now we come behind this with a little bit of this, okay? Heavy whipping cream. Half and half. Oh, sorry, half and half. Yeah, they're different. Half cream, half milk. Now, for the most part, this is going to sit on top. Ooh. What do you think, Wow, Shayla? looks like creamsicle. Yes, yes, homeboy. Beautiful. Now, you can grab a straw. Lots of orange and yellow drinks today. You can grab a straw. And guys, I come in behind with my little, my little cutter right here. And I do a little shave on the side here and a little shave on the side here. Okay. And then we come down like that. Gorgeous, honey. Gorgeous, darling. Mm -hmm. Hey, Red. When we do cream sickles, what do we usually put in? Do you remember any of those recipes? Orange vodka, vanilla vodka, orange juice. Cream, right? Yeah. yeah. This is pretty standard though, David. Okay, go Should ahead. I, do I mix it? I mean, poke it around. You know? Probe it. Probe that shit. Act like you're from a different planet and you're probing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My God, wow, you messy. What the like hell is wrong with you, man? You can't keep the damn thing in the glass. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. You, uh, thank you. It's all over me now. I need to go shower. Okay. <laughs> okay. You good? A little cream never hurt nobody. What do you mean? All right. Okay. What? That's not going to be your kind of drink. You don't like cream. I like creamy stuff, like Bailey's and stuff like that, but a cream sickle and orange it's juice. It's good. 
It's good. Like, hold on, let me, let me, let me try. It doesn't even taste strong. Okay, but let me just see, let me just see what this would be like, okay? Like, if I come in with a little OJ, right? It's good, Sky. Then I come in with a little bit of cream. Because this is more of a true taste. There's no booze in here. All right. It's good, right? I taste shit. Tastes the same as orange juice. I didn't really taste the cream. You don't taste the cream? No. I can tell there's like, there's a creamy aspect to it. I can tell there's a little bit of cream in there. I feel like maybe you'd be able to taste the cream more if the orange juice wasn't fresh, you know? Because the flavor of the orange juice is very potent. Very potent. Damn, you could hear yeah, that, homeboy? Our, our orange juice is too fresh. It's potent, okay? y'all. Our orange juice is too fresh. I need to put that on a, you know, put that on the front of the store. Orange juice here is too fresh. Too fresh. I like it. I like it. Cheers, homeboy. Cheers. Cheers. That would also be a good name. Too fresh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to cook some mad shit. What are we making today? Love. <laughs> <laughs> Not with you though. You could go home. <laughs> Just you and Stefan? <laughs> <laughs> yep, no diddy. <laughs> no diddy. <laughs> Yeah, where are the Hello. no diddy comments today? I'm kind of missing them. Can right? we get some no diddy comments? Can we get some no diddy comments? <laughs> okay, guys, I'm here with the lovely Shayla. Are we doing seafood in honor of Easter Sunday? Yes, we're doing seafood in honor of, of Easter Sunday. I have here, I have here um, a beautiful piece of, of salmon, okay? Oh, that's definitely chicken. Salmon. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and then we followed it up with a little bit of halibut. Breast. Okay. Now, I ain't even gonna sweat this. I know you won't wash that. Wash it. Go ahead. Thank you. You know, just to save the fight, okay? Yes, we know. We've Googled and realized that you should. Everybody washes their chicken. That's not true. Everybody don't wash chicken. Don't bl don't blame everybody for your bullshit. That's crazy. Guys, did I show you Shayla's outfit today? Shayla, can I show them your outfit? Sure. It's a skirt. She's wearing a little Britney Spears uh, schoolgirl outfit. What's the, what's the, what's the song by Britney? Um, hit me, baby, one more time. Hit me, baby, one more time. Who's hitting her? Huh? I'm the a teacher. Confess Who's hitting Britney? Loneliness. Killing me now. This is still loaded with water. I know. Don't you know I still believe? I'm just. Okay, hold on. Now we gotta put it on the counter. Sorry. Why, why don't you do it over there by the sink? Because hmm? there's too much stuff over here. So guys, I grew up. I grew up also washing chicken, not ground beef. <laughs> you just have to bring up the ground but beef. But after us. A couple weeks ago, Googling this, when she first started washing ground you beef. You stopped? I, I, no, I realized that washing is good outside as well. Oh, God. I realized that washing chicken is, is not ideal because... Why? The water splashes everywhere, so you have chicken juice everywhere, right? This was like on the counter, so where she has that is chicken. Not that I'm a hygiene freak. I'm just saying, like, I mean, it is what it is, you know? Yeah, it'll be fine. It's probably not going to be fine, but it is what it I is. I think DJ Bozak says we'll washing chicken makes as much sense as washing a car driving into a snowstorm. Probably, probably. Okay, DJ Bozak. But you, you're dealing with Shayla here. You can't convince her. Cool that story, bro. <laughs> Shayla is that one girl. What she grow up believing does not change. That's not true. My ah, opinions, yes, it does. My opinions change all the time. Just not about certain things. That's all. Just not about things that I just don't things. budge on certain beliefs, that's all. Mm -hmm. That is all, okay? And it's all the shit that you need in the budge on. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Put it back in the fridge for me. And I gotta wash your hands? Of course I have to wash my hands. I'm just checking, homeboy. I'm just checking. I'll just Step and hit me one more, please. Touching raw meat. <clears throat> I'm just touching raw meat. <laughs> yeah. We can take this in our stride. Information. Keeps it nice and tight. Bo, 
what? When that hangover, when, when, when that, when that little tipsiness <laughs> wear off, <laughs> the depression will return, okay? Just understand, alcohol is a temporary reprieve from depression. It isn't permanent. Give me a cup and bottle there, please. It isn't permanent, guys, so just, just know that. Do which one? Blue? Sure. My breasts, y'all see that at home? My neck, my back. <laughs> okay, so now I come in through here. While you do that, can I go potty? Oh my God, you just got here. She's a cooking chicken in that outfit better. What are they saying about your outfit? <laughs> they hate me? Man, I can't, man, I saw some, I've been looking at recipes lately and it's, I'm just so excited to try some new stuff. Really, what you trying? Like this, there's like a cilantro lime chicken that I really want to try. Mm -hmm. Can I make that one day on the show? Cilantro lime chicken? Yeah. Okay. It'll be easy too. Okay. Can you even cook? Yeah. I know you were upset in the beginning because you're like, these people think I can't cook, Sky. <laughs> well, you should just let me cook one of these days. I know what I want to make now. Cilantro lime chicken. I don't know if I feel like wet ground beef though. I said cilantro lime chicken. I didn't say anything about ground beef. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. But this weekend, Ty gave me a Dutch oven, so this weekend I'm gonna make Tuscan soup. Tuscan soup. Have you ever had it? No. I mean, you yeah, yeah. Had I bought it. I bought it. I bought it at stores. Okay, it's so good. You gotta have it. You have to have it homemade. Can I ask you a question? What? Where's Tuscany? Tuscany? Mm -hmm. Um, Turkey. Cool. Just just checking on your Tuscan soup. It, where's Tuscany? Hmm? Where is it? Just curious. Where is it? Huh? Turkey. Is it in Turkey? Mm -hmm. I was right. It's in Italy. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that Tuscan <laughs> soup, old boy. Good luck with that fucking Tuscan soup. I'm gonna okay? go to the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta stop asking the questions, sorry, because I because you all gonna be like, ah, oh, he's always picking on her, he's always trying to embarrass her. It just crossed my mind. Does she know what the fuck Tuscany is? <laughs> All right, I just cut up my chicken, homeboy. Okay. Damn, ASMR. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Does she know what that is? <laughs> That's gonna be. Sky, <laughs> you scare me with that knife. Yeah, I listen, 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 listen. Let me just tell you something about me and knives. In the Bahamas, I grew up with a machete in my hand, which is why I was so comfortable with it. Like literally five years old, my daddy had me going outside playing with coconuts with the fucking machete, okay? Because that's how I grew up. So the, the sharpness of a machete never like even crossed my mind that I could ever cut me. I, I'll actually, I lied. Because I nearly cut off my finger when I was young. With, with <laughs> <the fucking machete. laughs> Guys, I'm holding a coconut like this, right? And I pull back like this. Wah! I just happened to move my finger a little bit right at the end. And, and I only got a scar down here like that, right? <laughs> but just a little, one second later, my thumb would have been gone. I'd have been in here like this. Oh, ho! I'd been four-fingered bartender. What's up, everybody? Four fingers here today. Who? And you need a thumb, right? Because you need that opposable joint. So, oh, damn, what could you do? With I mean, I could make it work. All right. <laughs> I didn't catch that. Okay. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> oh boy. Okay, all right, all right. You eat Doritos? You wash your hands? No, I didn't wash my hands. Could you wash them again, please? Why? Because I, I have a very good smell. What right? does it smell like? Shut up. You're so annoying. <laughs> okay. Shayla, I want you to have a chip. Why? You don't Because I'm, I'm going to ask for one? Yeah. Okay. I was, is he setting me up? Oh my god. Miss my mouth a little bit. Have you ever missed your mouth? With what food? <laughs> No, usually I just <laughs> look at it and then I open my mouth when it gets here and it goes in. Have you ever missed your mouth when you're trying to drink something? What the fuck are you doing? Were you high? <laughs> oh my god, I'm so thirsty! Oh shit, I missed my mouth! What the fuck? It's happened to me a couple of times where I start pouring the cup before 
<laughs> spills down my shirt. I shouldn't have said that. That's a very unique problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Were you singing Elmo's World? Mm hmm? Was that what? Elmo's World! Justin, I agree. Cool Ranch is the better flavor Dorito. Okay, hold this up, hold this up. Okay, now seal that up. Get all the air out. You remember that dude who cheated on you that time? You've been cheated on before, right? What does it have to do with me? What is that? You've been cheated on before. Well, yes or no? Okay, and? Were you hurt? No, I was happy. Okay, she was hurt. Okay. Were you angry? Sky, you, you say that I'm the one that asks dumb questions. I want you to take that anger and rage out on these Doritos. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> Christ. Okay. Damn. Don't murder the dude. Okay. That went quick. Holy shit. Okay? All right. We're almost done already. Holy shit. Okay. Calm. How many dudes cheat on you, man? A lot? <laughs> okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Damn. Is that good? More. Almost good. <laughs> My boy is a. He saw a piece of toilet tissue stuck on your shoe. No, he didn't. First of all, y'all can't even see my shoes. Jack, stop crying. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Okay. <laughs> <The> psycho. <laughs> Thanks, Manny, for okay. becoming a member so again. said chill. Okay, so look here. Get some seasonings. We need to season the chicken. We don't have to season it too much though because of the Doritos, I'm sure. Right? Yeah, if you want to taste the Doritos, but I mean, it's still going without. I mean, don't do what you did yesterday. Holy shit. No, the season, it, it was very well seasoned yesterday. Okay, okay, if you say so. It wasn't too salty or anything. Hmm? Maybe just salt, pepper. Paprika? Paprika and onion powder. Okay. Okay, Am I just seasoning it like... Let me stop with these chips. <laughs> Don't piss me off, homeboy. You'll catch these little fists. <laughs> Damn. What's up? Hello, Belgium. Welcome to the stream. Don't we need like oil or something to... No? Oh, Big C. Thanks for the super chat. Thank like. you, sir. Greetings to Philly. Okay, we could use a light. A light bit of olive oil. How's that? A little olive oil? Okay. That's perfect. Glenn calls you the Hulk. Oh, me? No, shit. The no. Hulk, lol. She Hulk. She's just seasoning up this, this, uh, this here said chicken. Are you excited? Huh? How are we going to do this? Don't worry about that. Oven? You just season. You probably have to deep fry it for it to be crunchy. You just need right? to season. Okay. <laughs> And I'm not going heavy with the seasonings, y'all. Sure you are. I'm not at all today. By the way, I made two of those drumsticks. Really? Mm -hmm, that you gave me yesterday? So guys, I had a couple of drumsticks left yesterday, and I don't know why the fuck I gave those, because I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> you could tell I didn't want to give them to you, right? Yeah, and I was like, just take them, Sky, and then, yeah, I took them home, so. But that, I ate them. The chicken was badass yesterday. It was good. It was really good. Well, anyways, I stuck it in the air fryer today, just um, with the buffalo sauce on there like mm -hmm. that, and it was so good. And I made myself a, a salad. I came up with a new salad. What's the new salad? I call it American salad. Oh my god, what is that? Because it's American and Asian. We might need a little bit more Doritos. seasoning. Oh. No, a little bit more Doritos than that. If y'all want to know my recipe for the American salad, just hit me up because it's fire. <laughs> so good. Have your ass on fire. It's not spicy. But I will say that those noodles fuck me up. Which noodles? The spicy noodles? The bulldog ones? 
Yeah, they're, they're insane, right? They come, they, they're really It hit me awesome. yesterday after the stream started and I had to use your toilet. <laughs> sorry. Did you want them to know that? Sorry. Butthole was burning though. Oh God, okay. It was really bad. <laughs> So guys, yesterday. It hurts so bad. Okay, when the show is when the show is done, right? It hurts so bad. <laughs> we have to clean up, right? Because you can see shit everywhere. Like we making drinks, there's glasses everywhere. She gotta clean. And she was missing, and I'm like, well, what the fuck? Okay. I use and, two different bathrooms too. I know. And then Emma comes out, and Emma's like, uh, I was like, Emma, you see Shayla? And she's like, yeah, she's in the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Lord. It was bad. Okay. Thanks for letting us know. Sorry. No, it's all good. You take a lot of dumps for how small you are. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, two a day is healthy, right? One or two a day is very healthy. You're supposed to do two a day. Are you doing two a day? No, I do like one every two days. I know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, break this up, break this up. She does, she does a lot of them when she's here, that's the problem. <laughs> well, look at what you feed me. Can you help my little tummy? <laughs> My tummy is crying out for help after this show. <laughs> break it up, break it up. <laughs> no filter here. <laughs> but that's why she's a part of the show. Because a normal girl, a normal girl is not going to tell you that her butt's on fire <laughs> from food, you know? Shit. They take that shit to the grave. Fight okay? Them. But Shayla... She walk in, oh my God, I was on the toilet for three hours last <laughs> night. It was amazing. And Sky, you should see the texture of this, okay? Shut up. It was so big. Sky, I dropped a 14-inch log, okay? I haven't even seen a penis that big. Okay, have have any of your friends ever sent you pictures? Of turds? <laughs> yeah. There was some asshole on Snapchat like when Snapchat was hot. Okay, there was a dude who was a fan of Tipsy Bartender. <laughs> oh, every morning. He would send me a photo of the shit he just took. No fucking yeah. Every morning? Yo, stay tipsy, what's up? And then it's, then it's him in the bathroom on the toilet, and then he'll get up and then show me. Right? I, I don't know, we never talked to anything like that, you know. I just go in and I look, and I'm like, holy shit. What the fuck you is wrong with him? him while he was on the toilet? No, he would be filming. Like, he's posting this on, to my Snapchat for me to see. Were they impressive dumps? I don't know. Like, what, what dude does that? <laughs> Have you ever so taken a dump and be impressed? Disgusting. Listen, yeah, I listen. I'm not gonna lie. I've dropped a huge log one time. You know what I mean? And you were like, "Whoa!" And I was like, "Fuck!" <laughs> That's a world record right there. Okay? Did you take a picture? And then I started googling, "Can you fucking go on the Guinness Book of World Record for a giant shit?" Right? And I didn't see any listings there. Right? And then I realized, hold on, Sky, calm down. You want the public seeing this? You know what I mean? And because <laughs> the ship was scary, you know what I mean? Because you get what a, if a girl sees that, she can be like, wow, if that's that big, I wonder how big the other thing is. And see, they don't match. So I had to be like, you know, let me hide this. Okay. <laughs> With your friends at work. Yeah. Okay. Sheila, so let's get two eggs in there. No shell, just the eggs. Obviously. Beautiful. Well, hold on. Half the egg on the counter. You saw what she just did? What do you think that is? I okay. Not bad. Yeah, but I need it in, I, oh God. It's the smallest little bitty amount. I don't like any waste. This is a precise calculation. This tipsy bartender, everything we've done here is calculated to perfection. You've never wasted anything. No. We, we need flour too? Yeah, we need some flour too. Mm -hmm. Sheila, grab the milk out of the fridge, please. And when you go for the milk, put this back for me. Put, um, where the fuck is it? The half and half? Yeah. I put it back already. Oh, okay. Poopology. Poopology, yeah. Just the milk, the whole milk. This one's a little flour, guys. Huh? Yeah. Pour some milk in that. Not that. in that. What the fuck? You can pour <laughs> milk in the flour? I'm like, what do you want me to pour milk in? In that. Okay. Is that enough? Yeah, that's enough. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, that's fine. Whisk that. Why you have two? Help me to understand. Let me put the other one back. They were stuck together. I gotta watch you. Because he thinks I'm gonna steal it. Yeah, I kind of do. <laughs> I'm not a thief, Sky. That's huh? one thing I'm not. 
I know. You just be like, Scott, I'm taking this and walk the fuck out. It's not stealing. It's just, uh, I don't know what it's that's taking. called. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Your Honor, I swear to you, I did not steal this. I, I told him I was taking it. And I told him I'm taking this. <laughs> and I walked up with the TV. Okay? How did I know that it was, they, they wanted to watch something? It was off. I thought no one was using it. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Does that ever work, I wonder? <laughs> playing innocent or playing dumb? Ignorance of a crime, I mean, ignorance of a law, ignorance of a law doesn't mean that you get a pass on the crime. Okay. Like, for instance, if you don't know that murder is illegal and I kill 10 people, I can't be like, wait a minute, you order. Who the fuck <laughs> is illegal? When I was growing up, my granddaddy, my dad, we all, they all kill people. So I thought I could kill 10 and was the fuck. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. We didn't have a TV. I didn't know Not, this was a I crime. didn't know. <laughs> you could try it. You could, you know, you could always try it. Um, it's gonna be a little tough, but you can try. Okay. So let's look at what we got here. We got flour, we got chicken, we got this, right? It's our little dredging station. Hmm. Okay. So now, how are we doing this? You plugged it in? Yes, sir. Okay. Let me get a pan and some oil. Uh, Donde esta mi frying pan? Put that there. Let's grab some oil. Can you grab that oil in there for me? Which oil? The canola? Yeah, just some whatever bullshit oil. Not that, not that, not that. Right, need, right, not I'll I got it. it. Come over here, because I need the big one in the back. One way in the back. Whole court, let me grab this. What's your favorite drink so far? Let, let's tell people what we made so far. So okay. far we've made the cream sickle, which is really good. Mm -hmm. And it also looks like the egg in the milk. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. We made a fish bowl. That's a sangria. That's sangria a Sangria fish bowl. That's a, that's a peach mango sangria. Peach mango sangria. And then what is this one called again? That's like a turbo corona, guys. That's a that's corona, tequila, and turbo corona. And Mountain Dew. Yeah. Okay, thank you. It's good. Uh, my favorite so far is the sickle. Really? Mm-hmm. Can you believe it? I didn't expect you to like that one. I like it. I just don't like cheese. It's not that I don't like cream. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Big Mix. I appreciate it. Thanks, dude. Okay. Shelly, you ready for this? Mm-hmm. Let, let me get a wrap. <laughs> what about the deep fryer? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this this is a real thin a layer of oil. We could we could we could we could have deep fried this. I don't I don't I don't want to. I'm not into like deep frying. Yeah, okay. I love when we don't deep fry. Yeah, Stefan doesn't like to smell like the grease. I mean, the, the, there's the smell, and then it's like it's huge, dude. I fell into that one time. Emma Emma saved the my hot grease. Dog. We deep fried some shit, right? It's a huge pot of fucking oil. In the deep fryer that you have right now? No, this oh. was, you was using a giant, this before the deep fryer, we were using a giant pan. I pick up the hot oil, right? And, it, it, and I wasn't using gloves or anything. The shit was hot, but I was like, man, fuck it, I can handle this. I had, and then halfway through, like moving it from the behind to the counter, this was at the other place we used to shoot at. The fucking thing slipped because of the heat and the oil went all over the floor, right? Uh -huh. And, and, um, and it, it kind of burnt me a little bit. I was like, ow, okay? And then I was walking around in the oil and I slipped. And so I'd gone down in hot oil, you know? And then Emma grabbed me and put me in the fucking shower. I like, <laughs> put the medication on and I didn't scar up. But Okay, but it would have been bad. Oh, dude, I would have been fucked. Dang. Like, Because I don't really take care of my wounds, which is why I got like this thing right here on my nose. Because once, you know, like one, uh -huh. one, once I get like that, on my nose like once I get cut and shit I just leave it you know and, and it scars but this time she's like Scott you can be all fucked up let's fix this Dang. she was trying to fix this too Did but you I cry? dude I don't cry but Iron Tip Iron Chef rules three secret ingredients that you and Shayla use in drinks one for drink then the audience votes on what was better what it's I like an idea for a second three secret that ingredients you that you and Shayla use in three drinks okay yeah we could uh, Thanks for the tip, uh, Lord. We, we can maybe try this out. Thanks, man. Mm -hmm. That's a really good idea. Like yeah. a competition. Mm -hmm. There's a competition in between. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we didn't dip the Great idea, Lord. Okay. So I won them on this rack, okay? 
We can put them on the rack right now. You need to put an egg, then a flour, then an egg, then Okay, so put this on the side, Shayla. Be careful. Do okay. not let that fucking fall over. If it does, don't let it fall on you. Okay. All right? So let's light this up. I'm so used to, like, seasoning the flour whenever we, um... When you cook? Whenever we deep fry, uh, Okay. Like, I usually season the flour instead of the chicken. Really? That's great. Yeah. Anyways. Why? The way I said it was kind of condescending me. Are you in? Are you in? Are you in? What are you trying to do? <laughs> to talk his comment. What the fuck are you trying to do? Show me your face. <laughs> Get me off. Hey, Shay, look at you. Touch your toes and spell the word run three times. Jesus. Christ. Can you touch them toes on that side and aim that shit that way? Okay. <laughs> What's up, a slip up there and drop it? It was like by the third, are you in? I realized and what I have was a happening. fucking heart attack. Okay. <laughs> but, but this show is canceled. <laughs> okay. So we going chicken, flour, this, Doritos, okay? Okay. We're doing the egg. Okay. So we have to use different hands. You get what I'm saying? Okay. So I can do the first two. So, okay. so I'll give you an idea how this is done. I can come in here with this, right? Okay. Get that all over here. Right? Then I can do a little dust. Then you put it in. And, and I can I'll put it in here. No, I'll do it. no, 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 no. Because no, 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 your no, fingers no. are going to get really messed up. I have two hands. Just remember that? But I have, I can do it. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Just focus on the fucking Doritos. <laughs> you know? Just focus on the Doritos. Just focus, <laughs> just focus on the Doritos. Okay? All right? <laughs> now let me drip this off. I would let you do this, but you fucked up everything you ever asked me to do. Roll the egg. You remember Arkansas was like, Shayla, roll the egg. You okay. fucking roll. Okay. okay. Welcome, Drew. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, I let that drip. Now, cover it for us. He says it's like Oh I'm my god. Like, try to keep it in the bowl though. Try to keep it in the bowl. I feel like this will work if we like use a blender for these burritos. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Thank you for the super check code. He, he said thought we had to pay extra for that. <laughs> oh, <well. laughs> I don't know what the hell she's doing, homeboy. What kind of weird shit that was. Okay, now I switch hands, right? Okay, now just put it in the grease. Yeah, put it. No, you or, put or it on that. Song? That's the computer, or oh, that's the thing. What the fuck? Okay. Hold on. Hello, 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 hello. We, I mean, our sound's still working. Okay. Don't let it get everywhere, and don't touch it first. Go, go in with the that right for beautiful. You find out where the noise coming from? Is that Zoom all fucked up? That Britney Spears song is stuck in my head now. Hit me later. One more time. You know when um, they had those little, I can't even, keychains that would sing the song for you? It was like the early 2000s, mm -hmm. though. Never mind. I had that on a little keychain, a little snippet of that song. So it hit me, baby, one more mm -hmm. time? When I was a kid. It was so cute. Okay, hold on. Dropping in. My loneliness is killing, killing me now. What was that, Stefan? Zoom. I have no idea, man. Okay. We're working though, right? Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think everything is good. Sorry, guys. We had like a yeah. little, okay. little thing, I think. Hit me with a meme for a second. Hit me with a little meme for a sec, please. Tell me no, you're no drunk glasses. without telling me Hello. you're drunk. She woke up with aggression. Huh? Can we turn it down a little bit? The oil. Tell me oh, you're yeah. drunk yeah. without yeah. telling yeah. me you're that's drunk. That's fine. That's just finish that. Finish that. Watch out. I'm not gonna burn myself, Sky. I'm Ooh. not gonna give you the chance. Alright. <laughs> let's just let's he just He thinks I'm as clumsy as he is. Hey Zakes, welcome. I don't necessarily think you're clumsy. I just think you have the tendency to do dumb shit. <laughs> if there's something dumb to be done, I know you'd fucking do it, you know? Touche, touche, touche. Alright. We got another super chat from David. Hey, thank you, David. It's a good day if we do random <laughs> to talk <laughs> Okay, okay, hold on. I never, I, I mean, I know what Iron Chef is, but I never really watched it, you know? Iron Th Chef? Thank you, Sashi, for gifting yeah. a membership and welcome, Chocolate Panda. Hey, hey, Sashi, thanks. So, guys, I have different kinds of chicken, okay? So, I have, I have legs and I also have, like, you know, um, a breast that's been cut up. So we could just have a variety. We could have tenders and we could have, you know, other shit. Drip, 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 drip. Okay, go deep. 
That's what she said. I wanted three hands, because you notice each hand's covered in different things. We should have had three hands, you know. This is so cute. Humans should have been born with three hands. Yeah, because you know, I mean, that, that's what, what you do we need the, the third hand for. I mean, well, give me one and let me show you, let me show you what I can fucking do with it. Multitask like an MF. <laughs> but I heard rich people don't multitask. I heard they put all of their focus on one thing at a time. Dude, there's so many rich people out there. Why would you even listen to some dumb shit like that? Excuse me. <laughs> okay, look at Elon Musk. He has to multitask considering he is a CEO of a billion different companies, you know? That when you're starting out and you want to be rich, start focus on one thing at a time? I mean, you could... That's what I heard. I, I mean, no, no, yeah. there's, there's logic in that. Focus on what you're good at, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You like start, you can't you be. start too many ideas, then you get. Like you can't be a mathematician if you suck at math. You know what I mean? So, so you got to keep it realistic. Okay, yeah. Dang, I guess there, there goes my mathematician career. You just, no, you, gotta be, you just got to be realistic with what you with what you choosing to do. You know what I mean? Almost flunked high school because of math. Hello, Thailand. Thanks for watching. That's embarrassing. Amy. Take it out. Put it on the side. Oh God. These look good, right? They do look good. Stephanie, you could go close. Maybe so they can interesting. See them. Guys, that, that's our chicken, homeboy. That's our chicken. It looks good, for real, for real. My game is to have no game. You either love me or not. That's 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 a good way I need to fish. I think he's a fisherman or something like that. Probably. Uh oh, shoot. Yeah, get that corner. I've always wanted to go fishing. You've never been fishing before? I, I like... Ugh. Can you swim? No. You want to learn to swim? I will learn, yeah. It's just like a lot of coordination, hand-eye coordination. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of moving, a lot of body parts at it's one time. It's fucking swimming. We've seen it before. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> it just confuses me a little bit. Such an asshole. No, because you're describing some shit. Guys, swimming is so complicated. You have to move your arms and your legs. At the same time. And your time, torso at the fucking same and your time. Head. Yeah. You don't turn and your head. It's kind of like walking down the street and looking backwards <laughs> sometimes. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Only a select few can do it, okay? <laughs> Eight billion people on planet Earth and only two of them could swim. All right. Because <laughs> it's that hard. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I don't mean to pick on you, man. Big C suggests we should try some of them in an air fryer. You, okay, we could do a split. We could do half in the that's air fryer. Half. The grease. But see, yeah, yeah, but that's the thing. That's the thing. The Doritos can look weird coming out of the air fryer because I've done it before and it's, it's not a good look. Okay? They turn a really weird color. Who's my partner? Who's my partner in crime? Huh? Who's my partner? Seven? Who's the little girl that leaves the huge turds in my toilet, huh? <laughs> Who is she? Who is she? That's what I'm talking about. That's my Shayla, guys. That's my Shayla. Leave her alone. Okay? You, <laughs> can, you can take a dump here whenever you want. Hey, I'm going to sound like that. <laughs> so next time you go complain and I can pull it up. <laughs> I will always complain. I've put wings in the air fryer not to make them, but... To reheat. Oh, yeah, I mean... No, no, no. We're not, we're not discussing whether the air fryer works. We air fried wings yesterday. What I'm saying is the Doritos come out looking a lot different from the air fryer than if you put them in actual fat, you know? It needs oil, you know? Yeah. With this coating, it needs oil. Yeah. So just make them work, okay? I noticed we're running out of space there. The air fryer was very innovative, though. Whoever created that thing... Mm -hmm, my cousin. They did that. They did their thing. My cousin. Air Fryer John. It's a real name. Air Fryer John. Okay. Air Fryer yeah, John. Yeah, he went to school with the coldest. <laughs> 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 it's a real inner city name. So air Fryer he's John. He's young. Pretty young now. The coldest air fryer comes. <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs> this show's so fucking dumb, man. <laughs> We have one of the dumbest shows on the internet, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. So, so uh, scroll down for me. Let me, let me tell you on something why we're doing this, okay? <clears throat> uh, we already got, we got a, we got, well, hold on. Let me tell you about this dumbass, okay? So, there's a YouTuber by the name of your, 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 um, 
your fellow Arab, right? Let, let's, let's pull that up. The, the video or? Just same for us, same for us. And I guess, okay, so pause, pause, pause it first. Pause, hold on, hold on, pause, pause, pause it first. Let's, let's move him from the screen, go back to the wild. Let me, let me, let me, let me give you on the setup. There's a YouTuber by the name of Your Fellow Arab, okay? Your Fellow Arab. Yeah, sorry. Your Fellow Arab, right? Okay. And his thing is, I guess he goes around, you know, in kind of dangerous situations interviewing people, right? In Haiti, Haiti has always been a shit show, okay, guys? What people don't know is Haiti was like a gem way back in the early days of slavery because that's one of the first countries in the world, okay, black, like a black uh, uh, slave country that was able to get their freedom. They had this leader by the name of Toussaint L'Overture and he read, a, I think he taught himself to read or someone taught him to read and he read all these books and all that sort of stuff, really smart guy. And he overthrew the French in Haiti and kicked them out. So everyone was a slave who heard this story, wanted to go to Haiti. This back in the day. In today's world, Haiti somehow fell off and it's a complete shit show. And they've been that way for decades, okay? They had dictators. They constantly have fights. It's the poorest country in the Caribbean. One of the poorest countries in the world, I guess, as well. There's always some shit going on with Haiti, okay? Anyway, so this YouTuber now decides that he's going to go into Haiti, into that shitstorm, where you have all kinds of warnings and reports telling you not to fucking go. Where you see constantly where they kidnap aid workers, they kidnap this one, they kidnap that one. So we see this dude on a balcony. Some people like to live on the edge, Sky. Yes, I get that. But if you can live on the edge, you got to be smarter than fucking this. Uh-oh. So he's going to Haiti. To meet up. And this is the Arab dude? Yes, he's going to Haiti to meet up with the, the dude, the leader of one of the gangs, Barbecue. His name is Barbecue, right? You've heard of him. Barbecue? Barbecue. No. Cool, cool, cool name, you know what I mean? And then everybody's like, are oh, they eating people because his name is Barbecue? I don't know if they were eating people or not, but whatever. The dude's name is Barbecue. Barbecue right? is crazy. Now, notice, I just said, I hit y'all with a little keyword there. I said, one of the gangs. So just because you have an agreement with Barbecue's gang, that's not extended to fucking Stefan's gang or Shayla's gang. Especially when you have this non-stop gang warfare where the whole island is filled with all these different sections trying to get control. Because whoever gets control, whoever can take charge of this island is going to be the next leader. You know what I mean? This can be your little kingdom. All right? So he goes there. Let's play the video. This is the last video that he posted. So we actually cannot leave to Port-au-Prince until the morning because it's already 6 p.m. And if we leave right now, we'll get there while it's dark. It's about a six hour road trip. We'll get there while it's dark and that place is completely run by gangs. So you don't want to be dealing with the gangs even though we have safe passage, we're already approved. All it takes is one stupid gang member holding an AK-47 for one thing to go wrong. So we're not taking that risk at night. We're going to be leaving at three in the morning. I just really wanted to show you guys the view from this hotel. We are the only people in this entire hotel. Everybody else is workers, employees, etc. Because no one's allowed into the fucking country. So there's no tourists here, okay, other than those Royal Caribbean guys. But I have the entire hotel to myself. Look at that view, man. You got the mountain range. You got the sun setting. Okay, you have entire Cap Haitian over here. Okay, you see, so my point is, he's telling you where he is. He's telling you he's the only one at the fucking hotel. Okay, do it. If Sky joins you on a show in a place like that, okay, firstly, I need to talk to all these different gangs to make sure shit's fucking clear. I need a Haitian liaison on the fucking ground who knows everybody. And I need an armed fucking team with me 24-7 because some shit's gonna go down. These dudes fighting to take control of the island. It's a fucking civil war. It's like a dude going into the American Civil War going, oh, let me go interview the South, but I gotta cut through the North. You know what I mean? Or let me go interview the North, but I gotta cut through the South. Like, you gotta do, you gotta, you gotta talk to everybody, dog. Anyway, so he... So he went missing? He went down, yeah, he's been kidnapped. Show, show, this, this is, this is from one of his friends or someone he works with. Try keeping it private for two weeks, but it's getting out everywhere now. Yes, Arab has been kidnapped in Haiti, and we're working on getting him out. 
Love y'all. He'll be out soon. Oh my god. The dudes Shh. want 600 fucking K, right? <gasps> the dudes that want, is wild. The dudes want 600 grand to free him, right? But here's, here's, here's the flip side. Can't barbecue save him? Barbecue's in a different gang. He's, he wasn't kidnapped by barbecue's boys. I know, but can't barbecue go save him? Thank Super you, Dr. Chat. Strong. Sky, cheers out. Thank you for one of the shows this week. Great. Keep elevating, elevating. Stay tested. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, doctor. And we got yes. one more. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you very much, man. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you. Like, all I'm saying is this. So, so the dudes grab him, uh -huh. and now he in Haiti. Now he's on bail or on uh, yeah, yeah. ransom. And do it, Haiti, it's tough. These dudes fighting for food in Haiti, right? So if you're a captive, it ain't like they're giving you steak. Damn. If you get what I'm saying. Oh my God, barbecued. Not yet. He's about to be barbecued, though. If they don't give him that money? Dude, and, and, the, US, and the U.S. want half these dudes dead, too, right? So, I mean... Haiti, Haiti has always been, like, a real, a real shit show, though. But it's a country with a very interesting history. Because if you go back and look at when they joined the United Nations, you could see that this was a, a, was a truly unique country when they were independent. Hey, Siri. Hmm? When did Haiti become independent? Okay, yeah, Haiti was established. They became independent in 1804. And the U.S. was like 1796, somewhere around there, right? Like, you see, like, it's, it wasn't that far apart. Like, this country was, they were really ahead, man. That's crazy. Yeah. They, they, were, they were really ahead with everything, and all the slaves who escaped were trying to get to fucking Haiti. Now all they do is Haiti trying to get the fuck out. Damn. Yeah. Sad and scary. Yeah. Hopefully that, hopefully Another, he gets saved. That's why I'd be scared to, like, I mean, obviously Haiti is not uh, a country that I would visit, but that's what scares me about, like, traveling overseas is that, if I were to somehow get in trouble, like, I'm not, I'm not in America. Like, I don't know. Yeah, okay, but that applies to any country. Here's the thing. Just know the rules and the culture of the country before, before you, you go. fucking go. So when you look at Haiti, you don't go. <laughs> if you go to Ukraine, understand, like, you're not going to be kidnapped like this, but you could get hit by a bomb that Russia fucking launches at them, you know what I mean? They're in the middle of a war. Yeah. So once you understand that dynamic then the things become a little different. You just, you just got to be aware of what's going on and not do dumb shit. You know, you just, you, yeah, yeah, you just, you just, you just got to, got to be careful with shit, man. Okay, guys, check out our chicken, dude. Check out our freaking delicious Dorito chicken. These look like little puppy pieces, eh? They look amazing. Yeah, yeah, they do look good. They do look good, okay? So now let me get my fire to the right temp. Just like a shallow fry. How you feel about that? That's fine. It should be good. You want it deeper than that? A little bit, though, you know? You want I don't more think it'll oil? Hurt. More oil, homeboy, more oil. You can just, like, at least coat pretty okay, nice. Okay, how's that? I going yeah, all in. Yeah, that's good. That's better. All in. Do y'all pour oil down the sink, y'all all oil, or do y'all bottle it and then put it in the trash? Do you recycle your oil properly? Okay. What do you do? I My mom used to save our oil. I dare you to eat a couple of these. No, because there was raw chicken in that. Do you think I want to die? Man, just test and see if you do it. My mom used to save oil. Like, whenever she would fry something in the oil, she would, like, strain it out and pour it back in the thing. Dude, all black people grow up saving oil. Even white people save oil. Yeah. You know what I mean? You don't save your oil, Sky? Yeah. Sky, I, I, I don't know. I, what, what the hell are you doing? I don't know where I did She it. lost my fucking headphone, which is why she can't hear what's going on. <sighs> Wonder how that happened. I'm sorry. I know you're sorry. Why don't you stop taking it out? It keeps falling out. Like okay. the hell. All right. All right. Whatever. 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 We'll find it. I'll okay. Find it. Okay. All right. Hmm. hmm Put this in the oven. I don't think it's gonna crisp up the way we. No, want we, we waiting on we waiting on the oil to get a little hot. Let me get my little. Let me get Stefan coming back here. Yeah? Let mm. me get my little. Uh, where is it? Get my little thing on. It's Friday. Friday. Gotta, gotta get, get down on Friday. Okay. Guys, we're almost there. We getting this right? Okay, hold on. So what's this? What, what are we doing? We doing a competition about drinks? Is that what Tachanka was I don't know. Lord Tachanka was saying three ingredients, make uh -huh. some drinks, and then have people vote or have Stefan vote or something like that. Have Stefan be the I judge. I think it would be, we, we have to fine tune it. I think it would be interesting to, to like try that next week sometime. Okay, okay. We can fine tune that for you, Tachanka. Tachanka. Okay, Shayla, go to, go to the computer. Okay. And click on... Oh, I found it. 
Oh, he's coming back now. Never mind, he's coming back, he's coming back, he's coming back. Mm -mm -mm. Oh! Okay, mm-hmm. Party and party. Stop, help me with my mouth from the top. Thank you, big Where do we go? Up, up, up the... Um. I love that. Finland is the happiest country in the, in the world. They rate happiness and hit, uh, Finland is number one. Well, Finland is happiest? Mm -hmm. Where does America fall? I don't think we're in the top ten anymore. Okay, so so what is what do they do over there? What's their culture over there? And do they have like a four day work week or something? Mm. Universal healthcare. Okay, see, people would say America is the greatest country in the world. True to some extent, it depends on how what you consider great. Okay, mm -hmm. America is a very wealthy country, but everybody in this country fucking stressed the fuck out because when you land in America. You have to grind. It's the only way to, you know? Mm -hmm. No one coming to take you with the got my boy. If you, you want that American dream, you have to fucking you fight for that for shit. It. You know what I mean? And it, go, it becomes harder every year. Mm -hmm. Like your dad had it easier than you, and his dad had it easier than him. When it, and it should be going to reverse. You know, it should be easier. But lately, it's been getting harder, you know? So you have to work really freaking hard. Yeah. So, and then, and then. Because back in the day, a 40-hour work week would be able to pay the mortgage in for like the, the wife and the kids' mm -hmm. food mm -hmm. and everything. And the wife didn't have to work. Now, one person has to work two jobs in order to pay their rent, <laughs> not the mortgage. <laughs> but if you go back and look at that time period, there was a time when very wealthy people were paying a huge amount of taxes to be able to offset that. That ain't the case oh. anymore. And most people, like, you'd be like, hey, let's tax the wealthy. A lot of people would be like, no, I don't want to do that. Because in, Amer in America, any of, you could be, any of you watching this could be rich tomorrow, right? Why so, did that change, taxing the wealthy? Or uh, why did they change the tax? Our mind, I mean, but our mindset changes. Because okay. a lot of us know that we could be wealthy at any moment. And then we don't want to get taxed. Even though we're struggling and you aren't wealthy. And most people won't become wealthy. So you just, you just need wealthy dudes to pay their fair share. That sounds like a little cliche. But it's not, because the wealthier you are, the better your accountants are, the more shit you can move around and hide. Because you got to understand, all the dudes in Congress and the Senate who pass in these laws, a lot of, they get rich too. Because look at what these dudes enter, the, enter Congress with, mm -hmm. and look how wealthy they are when they leave. Do you think that we're headed towards another depression? With the I way mean, things are going right now? The economy's on fire right now. It, it is, it, like, like, right now, America's producing more oil and gas than ever before in American history. Biden doesn't necessarily talk about that because he's a Democrat and you know, that's not the way we're supposed to be going. But Amer the economy's doing pretty good. Can I go ahead and... How long is it gonna last? Hold on, not yet, Chrome Boy. Just, just wait a second I now. I think it's ready. Are you gonna put some water in it? There's a way to tell. I know. Oh, it's not ready. Oh. No, no, it could be hotter. Yeah, it could be hotter. a little hotter. That's the trick, guys. Flick some water in it and if it bounces back and burn you in the eye, it's ready. G-Money, ha ha ha, joke's on you. I did not wash the chips. See, Lord Tushanka saying in the 50s you could have a house and four kids, I mean, a house and four kids and income. On one you know, income. And be bottom level. Yeah, you could do that, That's but that shit's changed. Yeah. But America's going to have to change anyway. Because, like I tell you, I showed you all, the, last week I showed you all that robotics video. This is the future. These dudes are going to have machines working almost every fucking job. So the government's going to In the next, what, five years? I would say... I would say in a few years, it's going to be all the warehouses, all the big warehouses like Amazon and all those guys. It's going to be all. All that's going to be machine. And then it's going to spread from there. And you can see certain kitchens around the country have machines in there. They might still, they can still have humans like interacting a little bit, working mm -hmm. with them, but it's going to be way fewer. And so they're going to have to give us like some kind of, you know, basic minimum wage. Thank you, Ziggs. Yeah. Oh, you have go. work, but you'll be listening. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Zig, for listening to our BS today, okay? As I try to teach Shayla the, the truth. We appreciate ya. Hit me with another one, Stephanie, from up top. With all types of licks, you be taking shots, all types of hits. Uh -huh. Watch this, watch this. Sometimes it missed, got a line and she crossed it into the mix. Trying to play me like this, but I played a few tricks. Yeah, laid see? a few tracks, you can tell she slipped, tripped, fell, landed on stupid. They just put, they just put, they just put alcohol on top of Oh my god! What? Wow. Notice they were drinking alcohol as they done that, right? Listen, homeboy, every great thing has alcohol behind it. Once it works, okay? Scary. <laughs> Watch again, hold on, go, go way back, go way back before you even did that. 
Look at the boy, look at the dude behind. Look at him. He's he's taking a sip. So that's that's liquor. That's a bottle of liquor. So so that's some high proof liquor that he's using. Okay. And the dude the dude sprinkled some of it on his hair already. And Period. then they do that. And now blow. Dude, that is so fucking cool. Wow. That burn must come. <laughs> J Pope. Somebody said I look like Eartha Kitt. J Pope says, Eartha Kitt, as beautiful as she was, R.I.P. Shayla doesn't look like her. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. I'm gonna go home and cry now. Let me one more. One more. Well, if we both get in a glass, we might as well get a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Period. That's, I mean, true though. If you're going to spend $10 each on a glass. Yeah, but what they say with that is that bottle is going to lead into several other bottles. So they know, they know it's downhill. Got you. Okay. Guys, water test again. Oh, yeah. You almost said just a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Hey, Siddharth. Go down from a, go down from a place. Okay, so the mic, the, the rules for the Mike Tyson Jake Paul fight just came out. Okay, so what they're saying is, fighters over the age of thirty six must successfully complete an EEG or EKG to detect heart or brain problems. Both fighters will have to wear sixteen ounce gloves rather than a regular ten ounce. I think in some boxing matches they even do eight, but sixteen ounce gloves are the gloves you practice with. They have a little bit more cushion. That does not mean you can't get knocked out with a sixteen inch ounce glove, homeboy. They thicker and protect the hands better, and thus make and also gives it a little softer in terms of you know get hit like you don't get hit with the actual fist is a little bit more cushion, but do it with no head yet you still get knocked the fuck out. I'm okay. so excited for this. Song. Rounds will be scheduled with a duration of two minutes rather than three minutes. Mike Tyson's an old dude, you know what I mean? He needs breaks. Yeah. I, they, I don't know how many rounds they're doing, and there will be no official judges, so there's no scorecard. Okay, there's no one sitting there going like Jake Paul won, Mike Tyson won. The only way someone wins the fight is if they get knocked out, okay? But if they both finish the fight, I don't know how many rounds they're doing. Maybe they're doing like six, eight rounds, something like that. And no one gets knocked out, it's like a draw, okay? The only way to win is to knock a dude out. Hey, Glenn. Thanks for tuning If in. the fight goes more than two, three rounds, Mike Tyson's done, he's older, he ain't got the stamina for that anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah, how do you know he hasn't been working on stam stamina this whole... Huh. Because just his Running age, up mountains. his age, his age prohibits him from being able to. How you know he ain't been running up mountains and high hills like Beyonce? Dude, even if your eighty-year-old granddad run up a mountain every fucking day, like his body's just breaking down. I don't down. know. I've been watching the Physical One Hundred, mm -hmm. and there's some older cats in there that have been giving the younger dudes a run for their money. Yeah, right? listen, that 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 a is run for their money. That so is true. age doesn't necessarily count you out. Age, age is a huge factor. Age is a huge oh, factor. Oh no, I don't think it really counts you out. Oh, I mean, no, I'm not saying age counts you out completely, but it's a huge, huge factor. You know? But Ty Mike Tyson has that old man strength, you know? We I got feel a like super chat from Corey. I do Thanks, commercial Corey. industrial HVAC services. We take care of a warehouse for Walmart that was at least, the, oh, that was at least during construction the largest warehouse in the country. Almost everything is automated there. Yeah. Already? It's coming, one boy. It's coming. Like I, like I. Already? Like I am so nervous. I mean, again, I have the tendency to overreact a little bit because everybody was shopping for COVID. Like, all oh, we got in the lockdown. I already knew, so I already had. I already <laughs> had my plan set, right? You already had your toilet paper. <laughs> Dude, I, I did not buy toilet paper because I didn't think that was gonna be an issue. You know, who knew you all was gonna be shipping more than normal during the fucking during the pandemic? But People I had. Were fighting already. Okay, so so when I started shopping, right, it was only me and another dude in there buying stuff. Everybody else was normal, right? But I knew I was watching the news yeah. because the news stories, like y'all can tell, I like, follow news. Thanks, Lord. Right? Okay, let's go for it. Hold on now. Hold on now. Okay, go ahead. You can oh, go it's fizzling. Keep going. Keep going. It's fizzling. Only two more. Are you sure? Yeah, because you can lower the temperature in there. So you can only put in a certain amount of chicken. Even four is too much. Okay, that's good. Okay. Guys, that's also important when you're cooking. If you stack this pot with chicken right now, it's going to lower the overall temperature of the oil. Yeah, so and we don't want the oil to get too hot or too, too cold. Hot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, or too okay. cold. Anyway. Okay. So during COVID, you know, like I'm, 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 like I'm watching, right? And I, I listen to this woman from the CDC. 
And there was this is one she, they were telling her to shut up because she was like, she was being interviewed, right? She's like, there's no way this country doesn't shut down, right? And this like and they were telling her to shut up. Yeah, because no one wanted that message out. My friend is a nurse and she texted me and was like, you need to go to the store. So I actually went mm -hmm. before everybody else did too. Yeah. But the problem is, I didn't know what to buy. I buy all kind of spaghetti and bullshit that I don't even fucking eat. I was just buying a bunch of frozen goods, like stuff that won't go old, you know? Like frozen and see, meals. Okay, but I didn't want frozen shit because remember now. Never know. Everybody, not only were we buying food, we were buying guns too, right? Like I was in the line at the gun store. You were? Oh, fuck, I bought so much bullets and shit too because I was like, man, this shit's going to be <laughs> so wild. Next time, there's a, there, next time there's a huge yeah. thing that happens, uh -huh. can I just come here and you'll protect me? Uh, well, Please? Huh? Like, no, I'm, this is a real question uh -huh. because if there is an apocalypse tomorrow, there is no way my little ass uh -huh. has the knowledge, strength, and agility to survive that shit. What do you think I'm I just gonna have Because Because what? Anyway, you anyway. You have all the resources. David, I'm good. I'm anyway. Good. Thanks for so asking. So I'm going to come to you. I'm going to come to you when okay, there's a zombie apocalypse. Me. You come to me. Yeah? Anyway. Anyway. Okay. okay. We shook on it. So I, I, I bought all my shit, right? And then, the sh then, the, then they, sh they shut down, right? So naturally, I go fucking to the gun store, okay? Dude, the line? Motherfucker. Any, any situation, any anytime there's a crisis in America, people buying guns. The line was so long. <laughs> And then California got these crazy rules. I didn't need to buy a gun. I just needed yeah, extra California, bullets. Yeah, California, it's really hard to... I just needed extra bullets, right? So, I mean, dude, the line for bullets was freaking a mile long. And then we all have to stand six and six feet apart, you know? <laughs> Everybody mask and gloves and all kinds of shit outside, you know, because it's the early days. You can't like, just order bullets on Amazon? No, dude, not, not in California. California don't fuck around, dude. This one state that takes that shit seriously. So we all we all in line for bullets, you know what I mean? And then I gotta take them out to the car. My car drop like this, cause I ready for war. I'm like, dude, we gotta come out shooting. These motherfuckers do coming. Do you do you have like a safe pack, like mm -hmm. a duffel bag or something packed, ready to go in case there's like a? No, I don't. And My you mom told me that I need to get one together. You're supposed to. You're supposed to. So like the earthquakes to. and stuff. You're supposed to. You're supposed to. Yeah, I mean, you, sh you should. That's, that's a good idea for anyone because regardless of where you live, there's some natural disaster that affects you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Tornadoes, hurricanes, if, you know, tornadoes floods. in the middle of the country, hurricanes, floods, this shit. So you got to mm -hmm. move fast. But I would say keep all your important documents, like your passport, birth certificate, sorry, all that important mm -hmm. shit. Locked together in something waterproof that you could grab easy. You know what I mean? Something waterproof is important yeah. to say. Or, 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 or have a fireproof safe that you have stuff in so that, if, you know. There's a fire. It's waterproof. It's fireproof. There's a fire. You could come back afterwards and get your shit, you know? How's that look? How's that look, on boy? All right. <laughs> you know, you can get your shit this together. This will be good. I've never done Dorito-coated chicken before. What have you done that we've done? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, have you ever made donuts from biscuits? I've made everything. I've done that before. I've done donuts from biscuits. My mom called them ghetto donuts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and just put them in cinnamon and sugar. Mm -hmm. Huh. How did we get on that COVID thing? I was talking, oh. I'm, how did we get on the COVID thing? We, we're talking about being Mike prepped. Mike Tyson and then... I don't even know. <laughs> it somehow went from Mike Tyson to COVID. Yeah, but I was just talking about like being ready for shit. Can I flip him? I don't know. Should you flip him? Go ahead, flip him. Oh yeah. yeah. Flip him. Wow. These are looking like the chicken fingers you order at the store, at the restaurant. And we kind of oranges too, and that's good. <clears throat> Beautiful. Okay guys, so this is like a this is like an internal thermometer just to tell me what the temperature is inside. So you want a temperature of like around 160 something. Is it different for this one? Because this one looks more. They all, they all, they all the same. So it's still, still early. You know. Okay. See you later. I need to fish. See you later. I need to fish. Bye. On I need to fish. Scroll up for me one more time. So guys, we had another. Okay, we had another teacher today get in trouble for. But she do only fans. Only fans. Okay, of but this course. one's unique. This one's kind of unique. Okay. Why? Click on her name. Her name is Jennifer Ros. Ros oh, she's Lika. fifty. She's fifty. Yeah. Okay, but here's the thing that I don't understand. There's no way this woman was making money on OnlyFans. 
not because of the age, okay? Because trust me, to do research for this story, I had to go and look at mature content. You all know mm -hmm. mature content? What is mature content? Mature content? Uh-huh. Just like PG-13 and under? No. Like if you go to a porn site and you type in mature, what does that mean? Oh, older people? Yes. Okay. Oh, you didn't know that? Hell no. Damn. Well, you never see granny smashing? Okay, I'm anyway. not interested. So I had to go watch a lot of mature porn just to be able to converse on this. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> it's good shit, boy. Who? Granny flexible. I bet you love doing your research for granny this. Granny is a flexible woman, okay? Don't let the old, you know, don't see her walking like this and think she can't do some shit, homeboy, because she'll just throw them two legs up. Woo! Okay? <laughs> anyway, so this one was on OnlyFans for those of you looking for, I think her OnlyFans name is Jennifer Secrets or some shit, but you could Google veteran English teacher, blah, 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 and get her name and all that, right? She's a veteran as well? No, she's, she's been teaching for 30 fucking years. Oh, fuck. So her OnlyFans, I think it was $25 if you just want to peek at some shit. And then another level was $99 if you uh, want to see uh -huh. more shit. Yeah. She wasn't make. who was going to pay that? Who the fuck was going to pay that shit? Exactly. Exactly. Which is why I could tell you no one was following on OnlyFans. So they fired her for some little side project that she had, because no one was subscribed Aww. to that shit. What's annoying about that is that, like, what grade does he teach? Like fifth grade or something? No, I think it, the young, they're younger students. I, um, I don't, actually, I don't know. I don't remember exactly. What's annoying is that these young kids aren't on OnlyFans. They're never going to see her. Like, why, do you, why does she have to... Someone found out and then reported to the school, and so the school's going to take action. Is it action. against the law to have an OnlyFans and be a teacher at the same time? Because is it against the law? No, but they, yeah, but they have moral, they have moral, they have moral clauses in there that you can't do certain things. Like an NBA player cannot go and do a porn, porno, okay? They're, they're not, listen, some of them would have done it. The reason why you've never seen it is because they have clauses in there that, hey, you can't do this, you can't do that, okay? We do. I'm going to flip it because it's not looking cr crunchy enough on this side. Flip it over. Yeah. Why do you look so awkward doing this? You mind if I try? Why are you judging? Because I don't know. You just look like you don't know what you're doing. How do I? First of all, I just flipped that one for a I reason. I know. I'm flipping it back. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. So that woman probably wasn't making a dime on there. But now she might get a little traffic. But dude, like. I feel bad for her because that's 30 years of your career. That's. Yeah, and she was, and I could tell that she wasn't necessarily doing it for the money because her, her salary, she's from Ohio, they have a lower, they have, it's, it's, a, it's cheaper, uh, the standard of living, you know, is, is a, um, they, they, it's a lot cheaper to live than it is in L.A. Yeah. And she was making 74, 75,000 a year. That could go a long way in, 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 in Ohio. Ohio compared to some place like L.A. So this is why we was like, some little side project she had going on where she's showing her roast beef out there. And someone stumbled on that, and they're like, oh, I can get her. Because people always like to be, oh, guess what? So-and-so is doing this. We got to change. We got to get rid of them. Snitching. Just snitching. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Can you check your mic? Who, me? Mm -hmm. Why you keep holding that like you know what you're doing, homeboy? How much? Yeah. Dead. Yo, Scott. 50 plus, Adrian. What the hell? You, you got, next time you got to This man is like 65 years oh, old. Oh, shit. Sorry. Yeah, we go. It made a song? Yeah. Was that That's a loud right. song, guys? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, what, is, what does it do? Like, it's just like, oh shit, guys, sorry to explode in your ass. What are you doing? What the fuck are you doing now? Could you let me do that? Because you don't know what you're doing. It's, it's at 147, okay, 149, yeah. 150. Hold on, hold on. It's still going up. It's almost done. Yeah, just a little, long, a little bit longer, okay? Okay, this is done. It's crazy because Sky says that he, I don't know what I'm doing and y'all actually believe him. Uh, yeah, of course they believe me. They could see. They, these fuckers ain't blind. Okay? They could actually see that you don't know what you're doing. Get multiple sheets. Get another one. Please. Nice. All right. So guys, I take these out. Dropping these on here. These should be cooked. It looks beautiful. They should be cooked. Look at that. Damn. It's, yeah, Shayla, Shayla, grab the camera so they can see this. I keep forgetting you can't reach shit, so you gotta walk around. <laughs> mm -hmm. That looks beautiful. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I go with the ones that are. There we go. Why are you turning it down? 
I turned it up a little bit. Should you turn it up though? I feel, I feel like we can. We can turn it up. I don't know. I mean, it was doing fine before. How much you turned it up? A lot? I just turned it up to six. From what? Sorry guys for the interference. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry about that noise. Any, any of them saying that? There goes my subwoofer. Sorry, yeah. homeboy. <laughs> there goes know. your subwoofer. Damn. Blew it out. Wait, what happens if you... I'm if, I'm if I go into a bar, I want no time limit. I'm there for the day and that's it. I'm going to have the full 16 points. <laughs> no, nothing less. <laughs> Chosen time. Daniel. The full 16 pints. Jesus, Jesus Lord. <laughs> These dudes, they, they, they don't drink for fun. They drink because they have to drink. Jesus Lord, 16 pints. <clears throat> 16 pints is wild. Almost. What's the most you've ever drinking in one sitting? How many mm. drinks did you have? The most. Fucking 10, maybe. I don't know, maybe more. 10? Maybe more. I thought you were going to say something more impressive than that. Hmm? I thought you were going to say something more impressive than that. What do we make it next to drink? The thing, one more, one more, Stefan. The thing is, I don't like... I don't believe so. He's been up the whole night. He's been drinking the whole night. Well, the police did something he did last night. Pissed on a cop car. I don't believe so. He's been up the whole night. Damn. He's been drinking the whole night. <laughs> <laughs> They took that personally. Oh, he pissed on our car. So can you get arrested? I guess it's public. Yeah. Okay, public yeah, you can get arrested. Indecency, right? You can get arrested for peeing anywhere, boy. Yeah. Once you whip like it up. Half of Koreatown is going to be arrested. There's always somebody <laughs> peeing somewhere. Yeah? Yeah, Koreatown. all the fucking time. Yeah. My, uh, uh, I took my little brother to a music festival one time, mm -hmm. and he had to pee, but the line was super long. Tell me why I look over, and he's just... How old are you? Eight years old, little thingling, just out in the public. Just. That's fine. <laughs> I know, he was little. I was Why are you having him stand in line? Anyway, he's a fucking dude. Huh? He, was, he might have been younger than eight. Dudes don't wait in line to pee. Once we go and we see a long line, all right, homeboy, let's go deal with this someplace else. Yeah, at a mm -hmm. music festival, though, where there's a bunch of people walking past? You could even stand, if you, if you, if you're in a tight crowd, you could even stand like this and just Not a tight crowd. What, pee on somebody? Back you don't get to pee on someone. Okay, here's how you do it. <laughs> I'm standing like this, right? Okay, we're at a music festival. Heck I was no. my girl. I was my girl. You with your boy. We don't know each other, okay? Mm -mm. And I just letting it drop right beside you. Okay? <laughs> Heck you no. Know. That's crazy. You don't even know? Have you ever went to a, a bathroom and all the urinals were taken? So you decided to like pee in between somebody else's leg into the same urinal? No, we don't do that. Okay. Okay, that's a Diddy thing that we don't do. <laughs> no Diddy. I can't Diddy, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. What the fuck are you trying to do? <laughs> hey, Stefan, open wide. I'm coming through. What the fuck? <laughs> when you gotta go, you gotta go, man. Not like that. <laughs> pee your pants, okay? Sometimes, homeboy, you got to pee in your pants. Okay? Sometimes you got to. Sometimes. Let it rip in your pants. Okay, go down one more time. Let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me hit them with this, okay? So J-Lo is back in the news, ladies and gentlemen. What she do? Okay. Not, not the English teacher, J-Lo. So she, her album just dropped. Okay. And it, it debuted at number 38. Okay. And since then, it's fallen out of the top 200. Okay? Because people don't like it? Well, I mean, I guess not. But the point is, she hasn't put out music in like 10 years or something like that, maybe more. Mm-hmm. Okay, do you, hold on, firstly, do you consider a musician? Like, when you think about it, you think music first? When I think of J-Lo, I don't think of music first. I think more acting, right? Yeah, I think, I see her more as an actress. Hey, Pascal, than, thanks for tuning in. a uh, musician. Thanks, Pascal. Huh? But I have a friend that went on tour with her as one of her background I'm not, I'm not, years. I'm not saying, I'm not saying she can sing or she's a great performer or, or any of that shit. Well. I'm just saying that. I mean. I see her more as an actress than a singer. I can't name a singer. Single J Lo song that's like what's the one she had with Ja Rule? Pre early two thousands. That's what yeah, I'm saying. I got a Ja Rule one where he said he said the N word and everybody's like, oh my god. She said the N word in the song and everybody's like, oh my god. Is so, she? I mean, she white. Is it? it was it that um, well, Jenny on the block? I don't know. Something like that. Who can who can use Jenny from the block? Who can use the N word? But like, what color can you be using N word? You have to be black. Really? Yes. So Latinos can't use it. Nope. Really? Yeah. Asians can't use it. Nope. Damn. What if you have? Black Latinos can use it. What if you have black? Yeah, you can use it. I mean, you're still black. 
Okay, but what if you're black but you look white? Because there's a lot of that shit you too. You can still use it. Really? You're still black. Okay, suppose you're blonde, blue hair, blue eyed, right? Because I've seen this shit. Okay. <laughs> All right. But your daddy two percent black, which makes you black. Can you use it then? Really? Your dad is not. Really? If so who the fuck going around taking these percentages? Excuse me, come here. What percent black are you? Huh? <laughs> we gotta run this test. Go ahead, you can say that word not. Good for you. All right? Like who's doing the testing? I'm still, I'm still Jenny from the block. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, she started running Living Club Colors and Dancer. I can't, I don't even know any of her, I don't know none of her songs. But my point, but Sheila, so Do any of her songs do well? Any of them? I know she had hit songs before, but I can't tell you what the fuck they are. Okay. But I know this. According to them, she now have to cancel like shows because they aren't sold out. And she spent like 20 million of her own money producing all this, putting all this shit together. Embarrassing. And no one gives a fuck. <laughs> okay, but my point is this. She's, She's been old. gone. That's what I'm saying. She's she 50. needs to hang it up, JLo. Just I don't think actually that's not true because Just focus on your acting career. No, but you still have dudes like the Rolling Stones and all them dudes that they're doing their thing at an older age. Okay, that's true. But I they mean, have, I don't want to discourage anybody from doing what they do. No, wanted. but they they but okay, but they have a history of music. You see what I'm saying? This is what they do. So when the Rolling Stones come out with a fucking album, everybody's like, oh my god, it's the Rolling Stones. That's what they do. She she acts today. She's a judge on some shit tomorrow. You know, she like all over the all over the place. It's hard to place her. But I mean, Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg does a little bit of everything under the sun. Dude, Snoop Dogg and came up like, as a rapper, full stop. In his later life, he trans he transitioned into like whatever he's doing now. But that dude was a straight rapper. Okay. And you could name everyone in this chat. I don't care even if you don't listen to rap, know some of Snoop Dogg's songs. Mm-hmm. Even if you don't know he sing them, there's a song where someone starts singing like, you know, like, mm-hmm. ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. You know, so many people could finish that phrase, you know? Yeah. Who don't even know who Snoop Dogg is? It's just because you play yeah, Everybody. It. I think he's the most famous rapper, right? Yeah, no, I think. I think everybody knows him because young generation knows him because of his new kid show. The old heads know him and everybody in between knows you him. You could say the same thing about Drake, though. Drake isn't as iconic Hell as Hell the new. fuck no, you cannot. You could say that about Drake. That he's the most famous rapper in the world? No, no, because what did Drake? What does Drake do for the kids? No, I'm no, talking no, like little kids love Snoop Dogg. Like, yeah, I'm not talking about who loves you. I'm just, girl. I'm not talking about who loves you. I'm just talking about who knows you. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. Little, I mean, but Snoop is well known. Snoop, that's what I'm saying. The most popular. I mean, Snoop is well known. Popular. Drake is well known too, though. But not as known as Snoop. I don't know. I uh-huh. mean, I, I disagree. mean, who was more popular, Drake or Snoop, as in well known? I don't know. I have to go with Snoop Dogg. Someone's saying Diddy. Diddy's most popular. <laughs> he right. is now. He in the news every day. <laughs> he is now. I wonder what's in Diddy's mind right now, dude. Like, Do you think he's stressed out? Fuck yeah, boy. Because this one, this one, this money can't get him out of. But where do you run? Like, I where like does? He, I feel like he's more angry than stressed. Where does someone like him run to, though? Because you got to find a country Somebody that... Somebody said he's going to fake his death. I don't think he's going to do all that. You got to have a country that have no extradition treaty, right? Okay. Did you know that Mick Jagger dated every supermodel apart from Kate Moss? Yeah, probably. That dude was a closer. Wow. As handsome as he is, he was getting the Why best. Why not Kate? Yeah. He couldn't close with Kate? As handsome as he is, he was getting the best. Why does this dude Everybody keep calling Snoop me Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg is more popular Snoop Dogg. Somebody said Drake texts little kids. He do be texting. Hey, Hello. let me call you back. I hear with Shayla, we're live. We, we were all watching the show. That's like I saw the earpiece thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. The sonic ear thing? We were watching. Oh, that's so sweet. All right, I can hit, I can hit you up in a sec. <laughs> all right. Where is he? Is he, is he in Hawaii? Yeah. Okay, this should be done. Okay. Hi, Alan. Hi, Billy Ray. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Amber. I love y'all. It's not ready yet. These wings are going to take forever, I think. No, they're not going to take that no. long. We're going to be good. We're almost there, guys. Yeah. We're going to be good. We're going to be good. Okay, hold on. So, 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 hit me, hit me with a meme again, please, if you don't mind. I could quit drinking, or I could just get rid of all the people that drive me drink. Right. What you can do? <laughs> get rid of the people that drive me drink. I could quit drinking, or... I could just get rid of all the people that drive me drunk. Did you skip one second? No. Yeah, what in the hell is that? I don't, I don't Oh, that, that, never mind, never mind, never mind. That's wrong. Okay, we already saw that. Hey, cut to it, yeah. cut. Oh, 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 go to the visa first. Cut to the one before that. 
Okay, watch it. No, 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 no. When it's 20 euros to drink in the club. She put the flask in her In hair? a year. But didn't I tell you that? Like, dude, their liquor's so freaking expensive. I spent $20 on a bud, and that was like 10 years ago. So God knows what it's like. They gotta make now. that money somehow. Everybody's just doing drugs all day. Yeah. yeah. Go to the, oh, now go back. Okay, guys. This is an ice video, okay? This tells you what kind of bartender it is. All right. We can pause as we yeah. go. Look at this bartender. Mixologist, one at a time. Die bartender, yeah. put this in it. Serve it anywhere else but the actual glass in Okay, so they're the three ways, to, they the, they some of the ways that people scoop ice, okay? The way you're supposed to do it is to use, let's take these up. They're good. Yeah, I think the way you're supposed to do it is you're supposed to use that little shovel, right? The ice scoop. Right, the ice scoop. But a lot of people don't do that. However, it's illegal to do it without the ice scoop because you're not supposed to grab a glass and just put it in ice. And all of us do that. And sometimes the, that glass breaks. You have a glass breaking ice. And then you got to burn the whole And then you got to burn the whole well. Yeah. By burning the well, it's just like when you pour hot water in it to get ice melt. And then you got to take out the glass and stuff, which is why they do not like us to... Um, to put the actual thing in there, you know what I mean? I turned the, the heat up because I feel like it shouldn't take this long. Okay. That's it. Okay. All right, that is it. That is it. Are we gonna okay, so we just put these back over there? No, 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 that's fine. Let's let's get let's get some sauce. Okay. Hey, grab 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 this one from downstairs. Actually look in there and see if you see it. If you don't see it in there, then it's downstairs. More sriracha sauce? Hey, somebody wants me to replay the uh, what? ice bartender. Really okay, so watch the ice bartender. Kill the, kill the, kill the sound on it so I can talk over it. Do you want honey it. mustard? No. So, go, go back to the beginning again. Okay, guys. So, play. Okay, notice he uses a scoop. That's the proper way to take ice. Then the mixologist is coming in, picking up one at a time. You can do that, but it takes ever, forever. And they just showing that the mixologist try to be fancy with everything. Dive bartender is using a tin. You could do that as well. But again, I don't think... The health department likes tins in there. They definitely don't like glasses. The only thing they like is that ice shovel, okay? And the ice shovel, you, the handle's on the end, you stick in it in so the shovel part's clean. With the tin, your hand's on it, and your hand in the ice, which again, they consider like a little health issue, you know? So it really, it really, it really depends. It really depends. Don't go, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. So this is a little bit of ranch, okay? We got a little ranch here. Hidden Valley. All right. Shelly, you got my sriracha? Are you talking about sauce? Sriracha sauce. I don't see any down here. The little mini one? Yeah. Okay, fine. Let's just use this then. How about maybe you were talking about the secret sauce that I brought up You brought up some secret sauce? <laughs> So closest thing I could find. You chip the glass. Yeah, you do chip the glass, dude. And listen, the worst thing that happened as a bartender, busy fucking night. Ten D. And then some dumbass does some shit and glass in the ice, and you gotta fucking get rid of that. Cause if someone drinks that, your ass in trouble. Okay. Should we try the secret sauce or no? No, we can waste time with that. Okay. Let's just show them our little layout right here. Our Doritos chicken homeboy. Okay, yeah. that's a ranch. And that's some Doritos chicken tenders. Okay. So let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. Okay, let me take one of these bottom pieces. Probably okay, not she hot. can get a little deep. You, you going in? I'll wait for you. Okay. Again, spicy. This guy's about to love this. And there you have it. Are we checking? Cheers. Mm -hmm. Lots, you like it? Mm-hmm. It's good. You dig it? Mm-hmm. It's crunchy. I'd order this at a, as a rest at a restaurant. Mm-hmm. Y'all have to try this one at home. Hmm? Damn. It's good. Yeah, this one's legit, homeboy. This one's legit. And the cook on the chicken is really nice too. I don't know. You're not you're not gonna find most people out. 
Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. It looks legit, too legit to quit. I burn myself. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna find too many restaurants saving this because a bag of Doritos like this, at least here in California, depending on the store you go to, dude, this is like nearly $8. You can buy knockoff Doritos. Then that's more Doritos. Eight dollars Nearly, this was seven ninety nine. Seven ninety Jesus something. Christ. Seven something, okay? Or seven forty nine or something like that. But with tax, that's eight dollars. Why are groceries so damn expensive? That's insane. Inflation, inflationary homeboy. And see, inflation, like these dudes were raising prices knowing that you had to pay, right? And they could blame it on the pandemic. Like a lot of the prices went up in pandemic because there was a shortage of stuff. Mm -hmm. But the shortage ended and they still kept prices fucking high because that's just the way they are. It's fucked up. One more time, Stefan. Dip for me. <laughs> okay. That. Guys, this is a killer story. So in 2018, a woman purchased a, a piece of property, a lot in Hawaii, okay? For her to build a house on. Mm -hmm. She didn't do it, I mean, she, she just had it sitting there basically, okay? So in that same neighborhood where her property was, a developer came in <laughs> to build 12 houses, right? Oh gosh. They got shit wrong and accidentally built a house on her property. A whole big ass house. A $500,000 house on her property. You get the it? developers did. The developers did it. So now they got to build another house. Well, hold on. So now the developers offered to give her a different piece of property from the one she had. Since there's a house on it, right? Yeah. And she's like, no, she don't want that. Yeah, like this is the land that I bought. <laughs> right, land right, 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 on. right. So now the developers are suing her. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait. Dude, this America, she getting sued, yes. She's not going to pay nothing, right? I don't know, but okay, here's the thing. But people don't understand about lawsuits. Even... If it's stupid, if you do not respond and get a lawyer to deal with that, you can end up owing them. So you have to fight lawsuits, okay? Whether you want to or not. You can't just ignore them, okay? <laughs> so. so that, but, that but, one but, but like she should just sue them back because they illegally built it on her property. Yeah, I'm, I'm, listen, I, mean, I, don't, like, I, don't see her, I don't see her losing this, you yeah, know what I mean? I, I, don't, I, don't right. see her lose, I don't see her losing. But I mean, like, what do you do in a situation like that? What happens yeah, if somebody tries like to sue you and you just never... <laughs> what happens if somebody tries to sue you and you just never do anything about it? If I sue you, I'm suing you for $10,000 because of some bullshit. I get served or whatever. You, you get, get served. Chat. What's up, what's up? Doritos were invented to recycle stale chips. I believe that! Thanks, Ryan. I believe that. I Doritos that. Is, were invented to recycle stale chips. That's very interesting. Let's Google that. Hey Siri, nice why were Doritos see. invented? As the story goes, workers from the local supplier got the idea to fry up discarded tortillas mm. and sell them to restaurant guests. This answer is from HuffPost.com. Well, there you go. All right. Anyway, so going back to the story, yeah, she um, I don't know that that that's a that's some wild shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we gotta figure that shit out. <laughs> but. For what? Ryan says she is counter suing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, you. Yeah, but so if you were to sue me and I don't do anything about it, what happens? I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think you automatically lose. You have to respond. And if I don't respond, what happens? Then you fuck. But what's gonna happen? Are the police gonna come after me? Like, what's if I just like? No, but the court could force you to pay the judgment or something like that. Like, there's, there's, there's. You can't ignore a suit. I don't know. know. <laughs> Never Aren't mind. the cops gonna try and, 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 That's and, my and bring you there? Oh shit, I don't want to eat that. Huh? Aren't the cops gonna try and bring you there if necessary? Well, no. That's only in a criminal thing. No, no, that's a criminal case. thing. Yeah, okay. But the cops could get involved if I sue Shayla because she's not paying rent in my house and then like, she doesn't respond. What if I get into a car accident and I don't have insurance and you try to sue me? Let's check your mic again. Shayla. Mm -hmm. Someone said Doritos is not bacteria. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's good to know. Stephen, let me one more from the top. Tell me why we have to, we have to walk through an entire... <laughs> Ooh. 
her ankles. Ooh. Just take them off her. Good. I ain't got to no construction site to get to no fucking club. Fuck that. Oh, we got another super chat from Pasty Chef. Doritos are made by Frito Lays. That is correct. It's a Frito Lay company. All these, all these chips and shit, like and cereals. Like one dude to make all the cereal, one dude make all the chips. Like, and they just, dude, you nearly, you knocked this fucking thing over. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. Knock and you burn my chicken anyway. Am I burning it? Yeah, kind of. Why are you turn this up? And then you turn it up, and you, if you turn it up, you gotta keep spinning them so they don't burn. Okay, Dad. I don't want to be a dad, but you need a fucking dad. So I asked you. Where my thing? Where my thing? What? What? What thing? What the, thing? The what thermometer. Thing? I didn't put it there. Okay. If I crash into your Tesla, uh huh, and I don't have insurance to pay, uh huh, and you sue me, mm -hmm. and I don't respond, mm -hmm. what happens? To you me? can end up losing. But the problem, but, but the catch, but the catch is okay. The catch with suing is is this. You can't also, sue nobody that ain't got no money, though. You can sue whoever you want. The point is that doesn't mean you can collect. And if I ain't got no money, right? If the person ain't got no money, then it doesn't make sense. What? Somebody tried to sue me one time, and I straight up. You could also sue people to make their lives miserable. Ignore the fuck out of that shit. You could, you could, you could make people's lives miserable. I think rich people get sued all the time, and right for nothing, for no reason at all, just because they're rich. <laughs> no, they get sued for legit reasons too. Because when you're rich, you could get away with more shit. You know? Yeah. And, they, and, and rich people also know that poor people don't have the money to go to hire the lawyers to sue them when they do crazy shit. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like your landlord. Like you I heard some people, some rich people just pay the lawsuit, though, so they don't have to deal with all the, yeah, the, the time yeah. that takes mm -hmm. yeah, to fight it. Is it? Hmm? How's it? A lot of times you see wealthy people... Like this dude, so and this dude, and the dude, the rich dude might not be in the wrong, but he's like, dude, fuck this, I ain't got time for this. Yeah, take, yeah. take the money and get lost. And get lost. Yeah. Apparently there's like people who like literally look for brands to go to, mm -hmm. and that's how they make their money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One more second. I went to the Polish supermarket today and they had alcohol, free cocktail, flavored energy drinks. For the real alcohol, I <laughs> hope. Did you just order another beer after we said we were going to leave? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bean. <laughs> you like Mr. Bean? Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed that movie. One more. Okay, so if you had a race horse, what would you call it? Right. I've got a good answer to this. Race. If I had a race, go, race horse, it would be called My Face. So all the fifth girls in the race course will be going, come on my face, come on my face, come on my face. <laughs> Did you understand that? Because his accent so damn thick. Mm -mm. You didn't understand what he said? Mm -mm. Did you hear it? Mm -mm. Oh, shit, okay. <laughs> They're calling you a crispy bartender. <laughs> <laughs> he was saying that if he had a race sauce, it'll be, you know, my call my face. So girls, like when, during the races, girls would be like, oh man, come on my face, come on my face, come on my face, right, okay? That's hilarious. Very sharp, very sharp, homeboy, very sharp. <laughs> very sharp. Isn't race horsing just like huge in Kentucky? Do people like actually? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's everywhere. You have, the, you have the Kentucky Derby, you have the Belmont Stakes, and you have the Preakness. That's, that's, uh, that's, um, that's multiple states. This chicken is looking real, real good. All right, let's make one more drink. Let's make one more drink. Let's give them a shot. Let's give them something quick and easy. Let's do a fun shot, you guys. What do you all suggest, guys? What do you suggest? Guys, what do you all suggest? Shot-wise, what are you all doing? Alicia, I'm sorry. It fell out of my ear. Yeah. What are you all doing, guys? Is Alicia, is that, is that what do you think? The, the race of that person is? Not based on the picture, just the name. Alicia? Oh. Uh. That's, that's, that could be black or white. That right? could be black or white. What mm -hmm. about Shayla? Does that sound like a certain... Mm -hmm. does, that, does that sound black, Shayla? Sound black trying to be exotic. Okay. I think black trying to be exotic is more like Laquatia, Laquandra. What's a learn there you fuck? <laughs> you know what name I think is really pretty? What? 
Celeste. No. Like the Celestial, but Celeste. So many people have that name, dude. How, who, do you know any? Mm-hmm. I don't know any, so. Mm-hmm. Celeste is pretty to me. Dr. Pimple Popper shot, is that creamy? My, yeah, that is a cream in there. Thank you. For at fault accusations where you can't pay the other party or insurance company can... Subrogate for damages and expenses. And what's up, Scott? What's up, Hugh Solo? So what is that, like levy your bank account or something? I mean, well, if, if you can't afford it. Yeah, or if I just don't respond at all. Yeah, but see, the okay. If I hit this dude who ain't got no job, who ain't got no insurance, ain't got shit, yeah, I could take him to court and stuff. I could even call the police, right? Because, I mean, like, he hit me and he's unable, because he's supposed to have insurance. Mm -hmm. But the dude ain't got no money. You still fuck. You have to dig in your pocket and fix that. I yeah. hope your insurance covers it. Mm -hmm. That's why if you have a loan on your car or a lease, they require you to have comprehensive insurance so you could pay, you know, for your car and the other car regardless, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Somebody said Shayla is black. Sheila is white. <laughs> Oh, Sheila. So she okay, was Hold on, what's this shot? Okay, right. what's this shot? Y'all remember, that's a drinking show. Stop the shit. We had enough of Shayla and lawsuits and all the other bullshit, okay? A giant turds, okay? Vodka? Who vodka? shoots vodka? Vodka by itself? Somebody shoot, somebody said shoot a $200 scotch. Did you like this? Okay, Shayla, take a sip of this wine. Real chocolate cake shot? Okay, let's try some I love shit. Stella Rosa. Taste it. I've tasted it before. I know, but do you like this one? Well, okay, let's see. I've only had the black Stella Rosa. Okay, so let's do this. Try that. I'm sure I'm going to like it, though. My little sister put me on to Stella Rosa. Cool. You done? <laughs> Sucking out my glass. Okay. It's good. Grab an ice cube. Put, a, put an ice cube in here. <clears> hmm. <throat> Ladies and gentlemen, what y'all have in tequila, vodka, what? Which Captain one, which one? Morgan's Shark Puncher. Damn, that sounds like intense. Captain Morgan's Shark Puncher? Yo, we just eat a bunch of chicken. Jesus. We made so much chicken, Sky. I know. <laughs> okay. We got an ice cube here, guys. Sorry for our chicken mess. So we got peach here, right? Okay. So let's do a little peach mango. All right. Shifty Eyes Shady just became a member. Thank you, thank you, Shifty Eyes. What kind of name is that? What else? Mango. Now we're gonna shake and strain this bad boy. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So guys, this is short, right? Shady, let's get more spots of this, please. Yes, sir. It's not ready quite yet. Let's, let's get some more spots in this bad boy. Okay, guys, this is a random shot. We're pulling out our ass, hoping for the best. Okay? Okay. This is a twist on what we did earlier. So there's no guarantee this works, but life's short. Let's just go with it, okay? This is Ricardo Coconut Rum. This is out of the Bahamas. It's sweet, and it's actually... What's that say? How much percent is that? That's 22%. Yes, 22.5. 22.5. Malibu, for instance, would be 21. 21. So this is a little stronger, okay? So that's our mango rum. Beautiful. Okay? We need that. Let's come behind that now with a little bit of peach. This peach wine, okay? It's a we big know? shot, Sky. Yeah, I know, but it's more with the wine than this. Okay. All right. Shake it. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, boy, hold on. Where's a regular Malibu? So we got peach. We got, what in there so far? Mango, peach. And, yep, mango. Peach come behind with a little coconut. This might taste like absolute shit, you do realize. I think it's going to taste delicious. Come behind with a little bit of that. And then let's hit this with, how about a little mango nectar? Okay. All right? Don't hit that one any peach. Yeah. Oh, this is non-carbonated. We can do this too. Are you sure? Yeah. All right, then. Okay, go ahead. Now shake that shit. Shake it and keep it sexy, homeboy. Yeah. 
You spill it everywhere? You got a strainer? Oh, it's fizzing on up because of that. Um. Come on, close. That's why our workspace is so messy. Wow, beautiful. Go ahead, see what that tastes like. I don't know, that might not work it out. It looks like a little pineapple juice. It might not work out. It smells good though, right? It smells amazing. It says coconut peach and mango. It tastes like juice. <laughs> That's good. That's yeah. good though. It tastes just like juice? It tastes just like juice. Okay, there's booze in there though. So you all saw what I did. I did um, mango rum. Coconut rum, uh, this peach cellar. <laughs> and then you also have to randomly have peach mango Celsius and mango nectar. Me mango nectar. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. But I feel like you could just do these two or these three and it'll just be, it'll be a real shot and it'll be tasty. Wait, I don't give you another shot before you need it. It's fine, that. yeah, I don't need it. Well, fuck that, okay? You crash and blame my black that. ass, <laughs> I guess, sir. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today was a great day. We went a little longer than we usually go. And in time, as the show grows, it's important for you to, hey, while you're standing here, like this video, please. Like please this. Please like it. And share it somewhere. Wherever you are, share it somewhere, okay? To your aunties, uncles, cousins, brothers, sisters. Remember, the main feed is on YouTube. I need you guys on YouTube becoming members, okay, and making donations to the show to help us buy booze, all right? Mm -hmm. Or just become a member. That's good. Or if you can't become a member, make a dollar donation. Do whatever you can. Whatever you can, we appreciate. Because we need a lot of liquor, okay? And if you can't make a donation, just share it to your friends. So then oh. they can donate. Mm -hmm. You know? So it's great shit, alright? <laughs> so we can be back here Monday through Friday next week. Same time. 5.30 Eastern Standard Time. 2.30 Pacific Standard Time. Look your homeboy. I hope you all had fun. We can get better as we go. Have more guests coming in. People we could talk to, okay? Enjoy y'all's Friday. Yeah. Party hard tonight. You want to drink responsibly. Don't, Don't drink, drink and, and drive. drive. Stay tipsy. Exactly. Adios, mi gente. No svemos. <laughs> we can deal with <laughs>